euch Wissen von ihm anzueignen, weil hier drin sind Informationen, die unglaublich wichtig sind für eure Debatten, die ihr führt oder wenn ihr mit Muslimen im Gespräch seid, dass ihr dort gewappnet seid, dass ihr den Täuschungen standhält, ne? weil wenn es um islamische Angelegenheiten geht, dann ist er mit der Beste überhaupt, den es überhaupt gibt in Sachen islamische, in islamisches Wissen. Und äh, es ist eine Ehre, dass äh, Bruder Christian Prince hier auch live mit uns ist. Und wir werden denen einige Fragen stellen. Wenn ihr auch Fragen habt, dann könnt ihr das auch gerne tun, Fragen stellen. Und ich fange einfach mal an und äh, lese erst mal ein bisschen von seinem Buch vor. Und dann äh, gucken wir mal, was, was der Bruder dazu sagt. Weil viele Muslime, die kommen immer mit diesem Argument, das ist alles falsch übersetzt, diese Quellen stimmen gar nicht, sowas gibt es nicht. Und das ist eine Lüge, eine Täuschung, etc., etc., etc. Wir kennen das ganze Spielchen, naiv und diese ganze Blödsinn. Aber heute äh, ist der Bruder auch ein bisschen mit uns und äh, wird äh, sein Buch auch dementsprechend äh, mit Quellen stützen. So, ein Kapitel in seinem Buch ist zum Beispiel... Ähm, Hier, wenn wir nicht sündigen, werden wir von Allah getötet. Passt auf. <lacht> Sei Muslim, <lacht> Buch 37, Hadith 6622. Äh, Abu Huraira berichtet, dass der Gesandte Allahs, möge Allah auf ihn beten und ihn grüßen, sprach, weil äh, ihr wisst ja, Sallallahu alaihi wasallam bedeutet ja nicht Allahs Segen sein auf ihm. Das bedeutet, möge Allah auf ihn beten und ihn grüßen. Aber das ist ein Thema für sich, das kann er uns auch gleich erklären. Sprach, ich schwöre bei dem, in dessen Hand mein Leben liegt, wenn ihr die Menschen nicht, wenn ihr die Menschen nicht sündigen würdet, würde Allah euch von, vom Antlitz der Erde fegen und euch durch äh, Leute ersetzen, die sündigen und Vergebung bei Allah suchen. Und ihnen würde es dann vergeben. I, I reading from your book in the chapter of... Um, When we are not sinning, Allah will kill us. And yeah, so, sure, sure. He, he will replace us with better people because, <laughs> yeah, because it's for fun, you know, like, I mean, he's going to be bored. And if you don't sin, what he will do for a living? I mean, life is boring. <laughs> yeah, At that time, there's no coffee shop, you know, and there's no movie and there's no uh, Netflix. There's no showtime. Nothing. So what he will do? I mean, he need people to be troublemakers. So he, he's the police. <laughs> Imagine you are a police station and nobody call you. I mean, that's disgusting. Yeah, so why Allah do such things? This is not the same God See, like us. The logic, the logic of Islam is about that we are sinners for the fun of Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah, He needs sinners. He don't need to need good people. So if you don't sin, the purpose of creating you, so you will sin and then you will beg for forgiveness, and that is the joy of Allah. He is He's a He's a sick person. Who like to see people like if I don't sin, then I will not beg for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So uh, the purpose of sin is not really because he want to save you, mm -hmm. but, but the purpose is the real purpose behind this story that I am God and you need to beg me. Yes. How I can make you beg me? And the funny about it too, if you remember in the in the in the in the Bukhari, it says too that uh, uh, when Musa and Adam they have an argument. Uh, Musa he told the told Adam. Because of you, we lost heaven. So uh, uh, Adam, he said to him, how you can blame me for sin written by Allah for me 40 years before my creation, mm -hmm. written in my fate. So the fate of Adam was written by Allah to Adam, and Adam cannot be blamed for his sin. And then Muhammad, he said it three times. So Adam won the argument, Adam won the argument, Adam won the argument. Because mm -hmm. Muhammad, he liked to repeat things three times, always. Mm -hmm. Even, <laughs> even assalamu alaikum, you know? And I'm so glad that uh, uh, Muhammad, he don't work as a waitress or waiter. Uh, <laughs> because that would be horrible for somebody repeating for you what you ordered already three times. So he said to him, he said that Adam, he won the argument. And that is supposed to be proving that we cannot blame Adam for his sin. And the funny... Uh, Adam, if based on in this story, why he was kicked off heaven? If Allah, anyway, he did uh, uh, wrote the sin for him before his creation, yeah, and as long sense. yeah, and as long as uh, Muhammad agree that Adam is the winner in this debate, 
It's mean we cannot plead. So Muhammad already he make a decision that Adam is the right, Moses is the wrong. And here I don't want to forget too. The Muslim they say that believing in the original sin is stupid. Based on this hadith, Moses is stupid too. Yeah. But this is debate happened after death. So Moses did not die as a Muslim. Because anyone who believes in the original sin, he is not a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And Moses now debating Adam in heaven, not in earth. Because you know, Adam and Moses never met in real life. So how they will meet? The only way is to meet in afterlife. Mm -hmm. So this debate proving that the claim of Muslim that Moses was a Muslim, it's a big fat lie. And this is coming from the mouth of Muhammad. Mm -hmm. But well, it's a fabricated story, yeah, and, and but this fabricated story is very good story because it's exposing. You see, there's there's stupid people who talk too much, and the more they talk, the more we know they are stupid. Mm -hmm. You can wear a suit with the glasses, carry uh, some suit in your hand. People they will think you're a doctor, mm -hmm. but the second you start talking about medicine, they will notice you are you are idiot. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Um, yeah, uh, there is a, a hadith in which uh, a great person, a great believer who was a Muslim mm. and uh, out of jealous, Muhammad wants to kill him, to see uh, somebody kill him, mm. but he, he doesn't make some uh, any kind of um, thing, Mist you know? mistake, yeah. mistakes or something. Yeah. You see, Muhammad, he don't want anyone to be competing with him. Mm. So when he hear, if you read the story, uh, and I saw some Muslims saying that this story is exists. Yes, I, I made many book. videos showing all the reference and all the reference within my books and that you can check it one by one. Uh, the story is speaking about a person who never commit a sin as uh, against Islam. He is he pray very much. He is very devoted person. The Muslims, they praise him. And this is how Muhammad, you heard about him. The Muslim, they mention his name. That this guy is a wonderful guy. He pray a lot. He keep praying. So Muhammad, because he is evil man, he got jealous. There is a person he felt in danger. There is a person he is better than me. I'm the prophet, do and I'm not praying like him. So he felt that he is a competition, mm. and now I have to get rid of him. So he claimed that this person is Satan, mm. the Shaitan, you know. Mm. So he asked his uh, companions, "Who mm. want to kill him?" I tried to uh, translate them. I have the brother gerade gefragt uh, wegen dieser eine Überlieferung aus Sahih Bukhari. Is, is it in Sahih Bukhari? Mm. Actually, no, this is the reference of Sahih Bukhari. You see, there's a, there's a book, it's called, there's books, it's about explaining Sahih Bukhari, Bukhari. And in those references, they, they have this story. So the mention of Sahih Bukhari there is a book mentioning Sahih Bukhari as a reference in, in the explanation. The Muslim, they thought, I am saying Sahih Bukhari, but this is not the book of Sahih Bukhari. This is the book explaining Sahih Bukhari, mentioning this story. But it exists in many books, and I show that in the, in the reference too. Yeah, so, wie gesagt, es geht in der Geschichte darum, dass uh, Mohammed uh, aus Eifersucht, weil jemand, weil er jemanden gesehen hat, der ein wunderbarer gläubiger Muslim war, der immer gebetet hat, nie sich was zu Schulden kommen lassen, äh, lassen hat. Und Mohammed wirklich aus Neid und Hass gegenüber diesem Muslim, der war ein großartiger Mensch, seinen Leuten befohlen hat, ihn umzulegen. Das ist ja unfassbar. Du siehst, wie jemand wundervoll die ganzen islamischen äh, Sachen praktiziert und du wirst neidisch auf den und befiehlst sogar noch deine Leute, ihn umzubringen. Ne? They okay, ask him, okay. uh, Muhammad asked Ali and Omar and so to go and kill him. Want to kill him. And, and, the, and the, the crazy about the story, they, he ordered him to kill him when he is praying. He wasn't the most praying. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Muslims, they claim that if you don't commit a crime against Allah, you are protected. Mm -hmm. So what the crime this guy did? Nothing. He never killed anyone. Mm -hmm. He never commit a theft. He never uh, rape a woman. The Muslims, a second ago, they were praising him. And now suddenly Muhammad, he claimed that this guy is a Dajjal. He claimed that he is shit. He on. looks like the, the yeah. Dajjal. He, he, he claimed that, and then if you read the rest of the story, mm -hmm. because the, the, uh, uh, each one of them, he got in. And look how, how good the guy is. Mm -hmm. The story reporting that each time they get in to kill him, they found him bowing down, praying. So they say, uh, it's not good to, to kill somebody's brain. I will wait, you know? Mm -hmm. They come back, and then at the end of the story, the guy disappeared. And then Muhammad, he claimed that if we kill this guy, my nation will not be divided. Mm -hmm. How Muhammad know that is God? <laughs> and how this guy will divide the nation, you know? All of this, there's no explanation to it except jealousy. Muhammad was afraid that as long as the Muslims, they like him very much, 
they might follow him. They might uh, uh, compare between him and that person. Mm -hmm. yeah? You can translate. Yeah, also, um, der Bruder hat es gerade so erklärt, dass der Mohammed, uh, da habe ich das sehr, uh, habe ich das ein bisschen vergessen, was er gerade gesagt hat, aber ich versuche, das ist immer schwer, nicht vergessen, sondern schwer, das zu erklären. Vielleicht kannst du das ein bisschen. Ja, mit meinen ersetzen. Wochen in Englisch ist das auch immer so yeah, schwierig. Ja, es ist sehr, sehr schwierig. Ja, also. Also man muss schon ein bisschen Englisch können hier, um bei diesem Livestream wirklich den Bruder Christian Prince auch so ein bisschen äh, zu verstehen. Unser Englisch ist ein bisschen limitiert und deswegen ist es ein bisschen schwierig, heute so ein bisschen gut zu übersetzen. Das sollte eigentlich ein Promotion-Video sein für, den, äh, für das Buch von äh, Bruder Christian Prince. Und äh, es ist eigentlich auch eine sehr schöne Gelegenheit, den Bruder hier bei uns, bei uns zu haben, endlich mal nach Jahrzehnten äh, über das Internet nur die Stimme des Bruders zu hören und jetzt mal live den Bruder mal hier bei uns zu haben. Das ist natürlich äh, sehr, sehr eine, eine große, große Gelegenheit. Also da freuen wir uns alle drauf. Und dann wollten wir eben mit dem Bruder auch etwas live gehen. Vielleicht hat hier jemand eine Frage. Ähm, hat jemand eine Frage von euch? Ja, auf jeden Fall die, um, um diese Geschichte herum, äh, weil es gab ja Muslime, die wirklich äh, protestiert haben gegen diese Geschichte, wo Mohammed äh, befohlen hat, diesen unschuldigen, äh, großartigen Muslim zu töten, weil die haben gesagt, das ist ja Wahnsinn, wenn das äh, wahr ist, dann äh, warum sollte der Mohammed noch folgen, warum lässt er ihn denn umbringen? Er hat doch nichts getan. Und das ist dieser diese, diese Hass auf andere Menschen, die Mohammed hatte in dem Moment, auch auf den äh, gläubigen Menschen, ne? weil er dachte, dass er zum Beispiel ein besserer Gläubiger wird als er. Und aus dieser Eifersucht heraus, so erklärt er das auch in dem Buch, und das erkennen wir auch ganz deutlich, dass Mohammed sofort befohlen hat, diesen Jungen zu töten, weil er das Antlitz des Dajjals bei ihm gesehen hat. Also er hat ihn quasi als Satan bezeichnet, obwohl dieser Typ voll der gute Mensch war. In Mohammeds Leben ging es immer nur um Eifer. In Mohammeds Life ist every, every, um, How can I explain it? Um, jealousy, you know? I everything, about jealousy. Jealousy. Yeah. everything about jealousy. He has, like he has fear. He has fear. Uh, after his death, he, he makes sure that nobody can uh, have, have, have his wife. Yeah. This fear more than jealousy. Yeah, but in this case, it's, it, he, he is jealous and he is afraid. Mm. Because now people, they will compare. Like, you know, if I show you two clothes and there is one of them so clean and one so dirty, mm. then people will notice right away the difference. But if I show you only one, kind of clothes, then you will not notice, mm -hmm. it's the same. Mm -hmm. But now we have a guy who pray all day, and this is what it says in the story. Yes. He's very devoted, he pray a lot, even when they try to kill him, and this is the reason they could not kill him, could not kill him because each time they get in, yeah. he's born down, he's praying. To, uh, to, uh, translate. Selbst als sie versucht haben, ihn zu töten, er war gerade am Beten sogar, und da haben die gesagt, wir werden jetzt am Beten, wieso, warum sollen wir ihn denn töten? Und die haben das ja nicht verstanden, warum, warum, warum die den armen Jungen jetzt töten sollen. Wir haben ja keine Schuld an ihm gesehen, aber Mohammed aus dieser Eifersucht heraus, aus diesem Hass und Neid, hat er ihn trotzdem befohlen, die ganze Zeit geht und tötet ihn, geht und tötet ihn. Wer ist bereit, ihn zu töten? Und das haben wir auch in der Geschichte von Kaab gesehen. Der Kaab ibn Ashraf, der hat ihn ja nur, ein, ein Gedicht hat er ja nur erzählt. Ein Gedicht, wo ihn ein bisschen kritisiert hat. Schon hat er den Mohammed bin Maslama beauftragt, ihn umzubringen, und zwar seinen Kopf abzuschneiden. Nur wenn, wenn man ein bisschen über Mohammed redet. Und das hat er seinen Nachfolgern weitergegeben. Uh, are you alive in your uh, account? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm trying to find your account so I can post my, your, your video in my... In my uh, ah, okay. Yeah. Right. But uh, do you know the, the name of his account so I can type Ex it here? Ex-Muslime? Ex... Ex-Muslime. Ex Ex-Muslime. You type it for me. Okay. Yeah, so those guys, those guys, they can, they can see uh, maybe this one. All right. Ah, yeah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. All right, here we go. Yeah, SCP, I try to uh, question this. Uh, uh, I try to say it in, in uh, I translate it for you the question here from this guy. Wie schaffen es Muslime die schlechten äh, Seiten Mohammeds auszublenden? How can uh, Muslims um, to ignore the uh, bad sides of Muhammad 
uh, but it's in uh, it's all over the Quran and in the Hadith, you know. Who dare to question? Yeah, some some guy he want to ask. Yes, this you know, you know uh, uh, let us say I'm a Muslim and I I notice that there is something bad, and then if I dare to question, do you think the question will live for one second after I ask it? Mm -hmm. The question will, you know, you cannot, you don't dare. There's a guy he just asked a question uh, uh, about the Quran. He is not a question in the Quran. <laughs> He is asking question about the Quran. The caliphate he beat him, so he will not ask again. You know. So imagine you are asking question, questioning Muhammad, not Islam. Muhammad. This is even more dangerous than. Also, das ist sehr sehr gefährlich, Muhammads Verhalten auch zu hinterfragen, weil es könnte so sein, dass Muslime sich sofort angegriffen fühlen und dich sofort bedrohen oder halt dich dafür anmachen. So ne? Wie kannst du Muhammad in Frage stellen? Auch wenn es diese peinlichen Sachen gibt, es, die Muslime reden nicht darüber. Aber dank dem Internet, wie ich ja gesagt habe, wir haben ja heute die größten Bibliotheken, Internet ist für uns frei. Wir sehen ja den ganzen Schund, was in den Hadithen und im, im Koran steht. Gott sei Dank wurde der Koran übersetzt und die Hadithe stehen uns direkt zur Verfügung von summer.com und äh, searchtruth.com, die ganzen Internetseiten von Muslime für Muslime zum Studieren. Ja, und wir bedienen uns auch den Quellen. Die sind überall äh, gänglich, also zugänglich für alle. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a story of uh, of uh, when Muhammad he said uh, attack the woman so you get the blondie. Okay, also es, uh, CP sagt es gibt eine uh, ein Vers im Koran da uh, fordert der Muhammad die Muslime auf die Römer anzugreifen denn da gibt es blonde Frauen. So this guy he said to Muhammad, don't tempt me with women. Und dieser Typ sagt zu Muhammad, hör auf, Muhammad, mich zu verführen mit diesen Frauen. And then Muhammad, he accused him to be hypocrite. <lacht> <lacht> und Muhammad äh, beschuldigt ihn, ein Heuchler zu sein, weil er nicht mit ihnen in den Krieg ziehen möchte. And, and why he is hypocrite? Und warum Because er he is trying to find an excuse not to go to war. Und er versucht, eine Entschuldigung But zu finden. Muhammad, he made it clear, the, the excuse for the war is to go and get the blondie. You yes, know, uh, Muhammad, he did not make a speech says, go, let us do jihad for the sake of Allah. He said, let us go girls. and do jihad to get the blondie girls. Don't you want to get the blondie girls? Yeah, also Muhammad ging es nicht darum, uh, für, für die Sache Allah zu kämpfen, sondern um die Frauen zu erbeuten. Die blonden, die blonden Frauen. Ja. Yeah. Die europäischen. Weil es kein Araber in dem ist, also was, was Wildes ist. Und das ist, ja, das ist so bei uns Männern, ist das leider yeah. so. Ja? Gerade die Araber und die Schwarzen. Die begehren natürlich Europäerinnen, Blondinen. Und dann sagt Muhammad, das ist Surah 29. What is the chapter in the Quran? Uh, yeah, you mean about the... the, the, the um, no, the, the story here is not in the... You will not find it mostly in the chapter. You'll find it in different books. But the, the, yeah, the, 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 the chapter doesn't say anything about this. The chapter says, don't, uh, uh, you know, don't tempt me. Uh, but in that interpretation, you will say, like, yeah. yeah. uh, always, you know, if you want to look... Uh, If you want to look about uh, Quran, you find nothing in the Quran. You will find it in the books about the Quran. The Quran is a plain book, have nothing there. There's nothing. All the story. The Quran, like if you ask a Muslim, why you say Al Fatiha, you don't know. Yeah, also, they were saying, well, what Muslim Fatiha? Why do you Al Fatiha? They don't know. Al Fatiha doesn't make sense because how Allah he says in the name of Allah, He's Allah. <laughs> you can Allah say in the name of Allah. You know. Uh, it's, it's like, das ist nicht von Gott. Das Buch, die, der Koran ist nicht von Gott, ihr Muslime. Ihr, ihr versteht das nicht. Egal wie oft wir hier sitzen, egal wie viele Videos ich poste, ihr versteht das nicht, weil Satan euer, ähm, eure Sinne verblendet hat. 2. Korinther 4, 4. Ihr, ihr, ihr müsst die Bibel lesen. Ihr müsst anfangen, die Bibel zu studieren. Wirklich wahrhaftig den Herrn bitten, den Heiligen Geist euch zu schicken, um die Bibel auch zu verstehen. Yeah. Uh, I say to them, uh, yeah. you have to uh, pr pray to the Lord and, and he sent you the, the Holy Spirit that you can understand the uh, gospel of Jesus. Yeah, and, and you see the difference between the teaching of Jesus. You can be a person who have a PhD or a person who have elementary school. Mm. But you might even get better understanding from somebody who have a PhD yeah. because this is about personal relationship with God. Mm. Here the Quran, like now the, the, the verse we are talking about, uh, if, you read, if you read the verse, Mm -hmm. There is no meaning. It doesn't make sense. With that guy saying, "Don't tempt me." What does that mean? <laughs> tempt me about what? You know, like even the sentence is not doesn't make sense because if I say to you, "Don't tempt me," mm -hmm. should I say, shouldn't I say in the sentence that to uh, oh. what? So, uh, don't tempt me uh, about uh, you know kashish mm -hmm. uh, Now we understand it's about food. Mm -hmm. uh, don't tempt me about women. Okay, now it's not about women. Don't tempt me about uh, drink, about etc. But if you read the Quran, 
Okay, how I'm going to read the meaning, uh, like in chapter 9, verse number 49, what it's meant, tempt me about one. About what? You, you go and read the, in the, the uh, interpretation, then you will find that the guy is speaking about women. Don't, why? Muhammad, he says, attack the Roman and get the blonde. Oh, it's in chapter 9, 49? Yeah, chapter 9, verse 49. 49. It says, don't tempt me, you know, and the, but there, if you read the verse, there's nothing, you know, uh, it doesn't say anything. Also in Suche 9, Vers 49 sagt der Bruder Christian Prinz, ist dann äh, die Geschichte von Mohammed, wie der einen äh, Dschihadisten dazu verleiten will, eben die Römer anzugreifen, um ihre blonden Frauen zu nehmen, damit sie mit ihnen Sex haben können. Also auch Blondinen sozusagen abgesehen hat es Mohammed gehabt. Und wenn man aber diese Suche 9, Vers 49 liest, dann ist das nur ganz klein bisschen nur angekratzt, nur mit zwei Sätzen. Das kannst du nicht verstehen. Also musst du die Tafsire, also die, die, ähm, ja, die Erläuterungen, die Exegese lesen, um wirklich diese Geschichte dahinter zu verstehen. Und äh, in diesen Tafsiren und diese Erläuterung steht wirklich, dass da blonde Frauen, blonde, gelbe Frauen eben ähm, das, das, der, der Angriffsziel sind von Mohammed, um eben diesen Dschihad Sozusagen nicht für sein Gott zu tun, sondern für die Frauen zu machen. Komm, die greifen die Römer an, denn dort befinden sich Blondinen. Blondinen. Genau, wir sind nicht Blondinen. Haben. Komm mal hier, Sure 9, Vers 49. Und unter ihnen ist so mancher, der sagt, erlaube mir zurückzubleiben, so wie er gerade gesagt hat. Jetzt ist das Gespräch zwischen Mohammed und diesem Dschihadisten. Und, der, und stelle mich nicht auf die Probe. Hört, ihre Probe hat sie ja schon ereilt. Und wahrlich, Jahannam wird die Ungläubigen einschließen. Und dazu müssen wir jetzt den Tafsir äh, lesen. Ich habe jetzt den Tafsir nicht hier, aber ihr könnt selber dann. Äh, tafsir at tawari is, is the, uh, It doesn't matter, you can read the story everywhere. This is the, all the old Tafsir, all the old Tafsir agree that this is about women. The guy, he's saying to Muhammad, don't tempt us with women. Yes. Okay, we, we will not go to war in, in either way. We will not go to war just because we want to get some women. Mm. And if you go to Al Jalalain and etc., you say, Muhammad, even he said to them, Don't you want to get some uh, slave girls and some servants and sex slaves? Don't you want? So the guy, he said, don't tempt me. Everybody knows I am weak uh, when in front of women. Mm -hmm. So the guy he is, he is uh, Muhammad he is accusing him to be hypocrite. Like, okay, now he's playing a good guy. He don't care for women like us. Mm -hmm. He is the good guy. We are the bad guys. Oh, but all of us, we know that we love to go and get the blondie. Hello, mm -hmm. you know? So Muhammad now, he felt again that he'd been exposed by this guy. Because this guy now he played a good guy, mm -hmm. and Muhammad looked like he is an evil man who is waging war just to go and get the blondie girls. He react like a uh, like a good man. He said, "Don't, right, don't right. attack so, me! I don't, don't want to attack them." Yeah. So, so, but Muhammad now, because of this, he have to make a chapter or verses about this guy. Mm -hmm. This is why now ask yourself here, Muhammad, uh, uh, he received inspiration about right? one guy, and the claim that Jibril come to him. And Jibreel, in order to come to the earth, he need 1,000 year to go and 1,000 year to come. So how Muhammad, he got the answer from Allah right away, saying to him, the guy who said to you, don't tempt me, he is a hypocrite. You know? Also, es ist ja so, dass äh, Jibreel tausend Jahre braucht, um zu kommen, um irgendwas Mohammed zu sagen und dann wieder tausend Jahre zu gehen. Und äh, das ist die Frage, wie schnell... Äh, Mohammed es geschafft hat, eben diese Sache mit diesen Dschihadisten so zu klären, obwohl er immer Allah diese Sachen sozusagen äh, Mohammed äh, äh, rüber, ja, überbringen muss. Und das geht dann nicht in dieser in diese kurzen Zeit. Also da stimmt irgendwas nicht. Das sind fabrik fabrizierte äh, Geschichten. Ja, vor allen Dingen ist es ja so, dass dieser Dschihadist ja ein guter Mann ist. Er sagt, er hör auf mich zu verführen. Hör auf, mich zu verführen wegen diesen blonden Frauen, weil wenn ich diese Blondinen sehe, ich kann mich nicht halten. Also erlaube mir doch bitte zurückzubleiben, ich, ich unterstütze dich von hier aus. Geh du, Mohammed, nach vorne und attackiere, was, was, was du willst, aber lass mich bitte zurück, weil ich kann mich nicht kontrollieren, wenn ich die Blondinen sehe. Also dieser Junge scheint ja wirklich in Ordnung zu sein. Und dann, Mohammed ist ja überrascht, dass der Junge auf einmal die Blondinen nicht haben will. Und dann dreht er das auf einmal und sagt, du bist ein, äh, du bist ein, ähm, ein böser, ein Heuchler. Ein Du bist ein Heuchler und, und die Hölle wird dich erwarten, weil du nicht mit mir mitziehst, um die Blondie, sozusagen die Römer anzugreifen, um ihre blonden Frauen zu nehmen für Sexsklaverei. Also grausam, grausam. Das meine ich mit die, die Moral von Mohammed und die Moral von, äh, von Jesus. I talked about the morality of Jesus and morality of äh, Muhammad. 
when we compare these two. Uh, you know, while Jesus was saying to you, if your eye is going to fail, you take, yeah, it, out. You take it out. Muhammad is tempting them to go into war and kill and shed the blood just to get some blonde evil girls. You yeah, know? also der, the, ich habe ja gerade gesagt, die Moralität, die, die Moral von Herrn Jesus und die Moral von Muhammad. Da hat der Bruder ein Beispiel genannt, wie er sagte, der Herr Jesus sagt ja, wenn ich dein Auge zum, zum Bösen verführt, so reißt es aus und bleibt es von dir weg. Natürlich soll es nicht hingehen und das Auge rausreißen. Das ist nur, weil der Herr Jesus die Sünde sehr, sehr hart ansieht. Ne? Und du sollst da ähm, äh, fein abgestimmt werden, dass du nicht auf die Idee kommst, äh, so leicht, äh, leicht mit der Sünde umzugehen. Ne? Und dann know. sehen wir auf der anderen Seite, wie Mohammed zu anderen Leuten sagt, komm, lass uns die Leute angreifen. Wir wollen die blonden Frauen von denen erobern. Versteht ihr? Das ist kein Vorbild für uns. Und dann fragt ihr euch, warum äh, da ich die Leute angreift aus den jesidischen Stämmen, ihre Frauen erbeutet, ihre Männer tötet und ihren ganzen Stamm vernichtet und alles mitnimmt. Und versteht ihr das nicht? Das, der ES verkörpert den reinen und wahren Islam. Ja, das sind keine Heuchler. Ja, genau, das sind normal gute Jungs, würde ich mal sagen. Ja, immer Mus Muslime sind das. Ja, genau, weil die lesen diese Sache von Mohammed, der ISIS, and they, they practice it. They are not hypocrite. ISIS. ISIS. They, they practice it. No, uh, ISIS are more honest than Muhammad because Muhammad, he know that he's a liar. ISIS, they, they, they think they are they are right. See, you see, they, they have they are more decent. Than, and actually, they did not do the crime of Muhammad. The ISIS are very nice people compared to Muhammad. They have all, uh, the, also yeah. have their limits. At the same time, same time, yeah, Muhammad, they have no limit. Muhammad, he can do whatever. He can create his own law. ISIS are limited in the law of Muhammad, which he practiced, the Sunnah and the Quran. So they cannot create something, but you do not know what Muhammad he will do. Muhammad is a moody guy. You know, the, the same one he told them, like, 100 of you can fight 1,000. Okay. The Muslim, they went to war, they got busted. Yes, yes, the so, story. Yeah. Before they come back, you know, like, Muhammad he heard the news, okay, uh, well, okay, okay, hold, hold on, hold on, Allah, he just enlightened me, told me that you have weakness, mm -hmm. so now 100 of you can fight 200. From 100 <laughs> fighting 1,000 to 100 fighting 200, what happened? That's mean the error or the mistake in the numbers. It was what ninety percent, yes. you know, because it was one to ten. Now, now we will fight one to two. So Allah correcting Himself. Yeah, but it's Muhammad correcting Allah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You know, yeah. uh, because yeah. because you know, like when uh, if uh, if you go, uh, I, I think this chapter twenty nine verse. Uh, uh, which verse? Let me, uh, I think it's 29 14. Check 29 14. 29 14. Let me search it just to be sure. Mm. Uh, no, no, sorry, sorry. This is not 29 14. I'm, I'm wrong. Um, this has to be the first. Yeah, no, this, this is, no, this is a chapter 8, verse number 66. It's my mistake. 866, yes. Somebody's getting Dear, old. <laughs> oh, Prophet, Allah soll dir äh, Volllauf genügen und äh, denen, die dir folgen unter den Gläubigen. Oh, Prophet, folge die Gläubigen zum Kampf an. Sind auch nur 20 unter euch, die Geduld haben, so wollen sie 200 überwältigen. Und sind 100 unter euch, so werden sie 1000 von denen überwältigen. Die Ungläubigen sind, äh, weil das äh, ein Volk ist, das nicht begreift. <laughs> Jetzt kommt's. Jetzt aber hat Allah euch eure Bürde erleichtert, denn er weiß, dass ihr schwach seid. Wenn also unter euch 100 sind, die Geduld haben, so sollen sie 200 überwältigen. Und wenn 1000 unter euch sind, so sollen sie 2000 mit der Erlaubnis Allahs überwältigen. Ja. Also hier sehen wir einen eindeutigen Fehler. Allah korrigiert sich ja selber gerade. Der wusste, wusste Allah nicht, dass sie verlieren werden, diese Leute, seine Muslime. Da sagt er, oh, okay, gut, uh, ihr habt es nicht geschafft, jetzt habe ich gesehen, jetzt habe ich euch die Bürde erleichtert. Jetzt mach mal 1 zu 20 oder 1 zu 2, ne? Genau, vorher 1, 10 mal so viel sollen die kämpfen, 10, also 10 fach überwinden, einer gegen 10 und auf einmal sieht Allah, oh, oh, ich habe Fehler gemacht, ich habe es ja nicht. Also muss ich gucken, runtergehen, mit, also sozusagen so ein ja, ja. äh, Dingens geben, also so ein also Rabatt, Rabatt geben. Rabatt geben. Äh, und dann einer gegen äh, doppelt dran, ne? Ja, ja, ja. ja und dann geht das dann wieder, nicht? Allah korrigiert sich, ja. weil Allah ja nicht in die Zukunft schauen kann. Ja. Weil wenn er das von vornherein in die Zukunft schaut, dann würde er von Anfang gesagt. an sagen, nur einer gegen zwei ja. und nicht einer gegen zehn. Hier ist, der, ja. ist ein richtiger Fehler drin, das ist ein Widerspruch. You know, here, here the question is, if God said, 
you will fight six billion people and you will win. You will win because God is with you. Genau, wenn Gott spricht und er sagt, geh los und du wirst gegen sechs Millionen Menschen äh, kämpfen und du wirst sie besiegen, dann wirst du gewinnen. So wie äh, auch äh, der Gerhard Samuel war das. Ne? Alle, 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 geh und du mach, und versteck den Ball, ja, ich bin bei dir. So. Und dann haben die immer die Ball, die alles gemacht haben. So, man, and, and you know, if, uh, uh, let us say, they have a weakness. Mm. Don't Allah know that they have a weakness when he told them that 100 of you can fight 1,000? I mean, you see that uh, 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 when we say somebody is a prophet, the true prophet is God, not the prophet. The prophet is a man who delivered prophecy made mm. by God. Mm. The first prophet is God. He is the one who prophesied the future because he knows the future. Yes. So prophet is a man who delivered prophecy coming from God. So the first prophet is God, truly, not a man. Mm. Then the prophet here delivering, delivering prophecy from God saying that 100 of you will win against 1,000. So is that a prophecy or a stupid mistake? Obviously, it's a stupid mistake mm -hmm. and it's a stupid lie. So Muhammad, he made, he delivered this prophecy, but he obviously, he noticed that this is too much exaggeration mm -hmm. and it's not practical. There's no way 100 can win against 1,000. Why the Muslims don't see that? Are they blind? Yeah, Who they are to question? Uh, we, you know, we spoke before. We may, we just mentioned that. Why we see it? Why, uh, why uh, we can uh, read it and, and uh, understand? What the Christian prince said is, they allow them to not even to interfere, because they don't believe in God. Five verses. 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 Yeah, but there's more than this. You see, uh, you can ask questions in Islam as long as you don't question Islam. Yeah, like ask a silly question. Can I shave under the arm? That's a good question. <laughs> you know, uh, can I cut my mustache? That's perfect question. But why Muhammad did that? Nobody there. You know, uh, like if you if you go to verse number sixty six, I don't know what the translation uh, in German uh, okay, what it says. Does it say Does it say there in the beginning now? Wait. In Arabic it says. Six. Ch chapter, also, chapter, the Anfal, the Anfal, Anfal, yeah. yeah, verse number 65 and 66, you know, so in verse number 66, the same verse you were reading in a second ago, in verse number 66 it says, yeah. Now Allah, he enlightened your task and he know, and he know yeah. this, or he know that you have a weakness. Now, now, what, uh, the, what happened? What happened before? before? Yes, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so then say Allah, okay, oh, jetzt habe ich gesehen, ich schaff das nicht. Okay, jetzt sage ich, ihr yeah. seid schwach. Also vorher hatte Allah nicht gewusst, dass die Muslime schwach sind. Der muss erst sehen, was passiert, um dann zu reagieren. Aber Gott ist ja so, dass er ihn jetzt in die Zukunft schauen kann. Der wahre Gott, der Liebe, zeigt er Prophezeiungen, die ja Jahrtausend später eintreffen werden, exakt. Aber hier sagt Allah in einer Prophezeiung, das trifft nicht ein. Und dann muss er dann sozusagen sich korrigieren und sagen, okay, ja, jetzt habe ich gesehen, ich schaffe das nicht. Okay, dann mach doch, also eine gegen eins, durch, eins, ja, eins gegen zwei. Ja, also da, das ist ja, ja mit einem menschlichen äh, Wesen ja. zu tun. Nicht ja, der Fehler Wesen. macht und sich korrigiert, ja. Ja, deshalb hat er ja gerade gesagt, Mohammed korrigiert Allah. Ja, und das ist dann der wahre... Das ist ja nicht Allah hier, der sich korrigiert. Das ist Mohammed, der eben Sachen sagt, die nicht eintreffen und auf einmal steht er da vor der, vor der Menge und weiß nicht, was er tun soll. Also gibt er Rabatt und ja. korrigiert seine eigenen ja. Fehler. Das sind ja menschliche ja. Fehler. Ja, Gott macht ja keinen Fehler in der Zukunft. Sozusagen in der Zukunftsschau, in der Prophezie, in der Prophezeiung. And if you notice, the two verses, the mission conditions, both of them, they are exactly the same. So the Muslim, they can't say, oh, the first verse, it says, if they are patient and uh, faithful, both verses saying the same. If they are patient and they are, you know, like... Uh, but it doesn't make sense how you can uh, try to uh, explain it, because Allah said, I, uh, now I know. Yeah. Now, now I know. Now, <laughs> yeah, now, now, the Muslim, they say to you, oh, now he's saying now that he changed his decision, but doesn't say that. It says, this is, now he knew, now he just found out, no and change the decision about how many. Jetzt hat es herausgefunden. But both of them, they have the same condition, to be uh, faithful and to be uh, uh, to be uh, patient. Mm. So nothing changed about being patient. Mm. Both have the same condition, which means, like, uh, he cannot say, uh, if you are uh, faithful in the first verse, and he is not saying that in the second verse, or vice versa, you know what I mean? Mm. So the condition is the same. It's like, you know, you say, 
if you if you do a 10 push up a day you will lose one kilogram mm -hmm. and then you say no second verse if you do 10 push up a day you know <laughs> I correct myself you, you will lose half kilogram but it's the same push up we did push up in the first day 10 push up and now 10 push up so it's the same conditions mm -hmm. so the Muslim now they can't explain to us why in the first verse it, he said that and why the second verse saying the opposite or like the changing the numbers because both they have the same conditions and additional to that the second verse confirming that Allah now he knew that I have a weakness and then if we go back to the first verse if Allah is all knowledgeable and he knew the future don't he knew that is going to correct himself tomorrow so why he don't give the second verse instead of the first verse <laughs> from the beginning that's the logic you know what I mean yeah. it's like saying to you take the highway uh, number 110 and then I say oh no 110 is too long, take the other one, the shortcut, <laughs> you know? <laughs> also, äh, äh. genau, das wiederholt das jetzt gerade, äh, der Bruder Christian Prinz. Wenn Allah etwas sagt, was in Zukunft passiert, dann muss es auch passieren, der darf sich nicht korrigieren. Wenn er Allah sagt, geht rein und ihr werdet, also zehn von euch werden Tausende überwältigen. Dann wird, muss das so eintreffen, weil Allah das sagt, weil Gott das sagt. Mhm. Trifft das nicht ein und Allah muss seinen eigenen Fehler korrigieren mhm. und sagen, okay, ihr schafft nur zwei, zweifach so viel, dann handelt es sich hier um einen menschlichen Fehler. Ja. Und das ist der Geist, der diese Verse geschrieben hat, der seinen Fehler korrigiert, ist menschlicher Geist, der Fehler macht. Ja, ja? eindeutig. Und was sagt Allah über sich selber in Sure 482, wenn dieses Buch Widersprüche hat, so wäre es nicht von Gott. Uh, uh, so, uh, for uh, 82. Yeah. When this book is not from God, you find a lot of you contradiction. Yes. A lot you know, of. If, if, no, viele. Einer reicht ja nicht. Man muss viele finden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, das yeah. Falsch. You have to find a lot of if you, go, if you go to chapter 3, verse 144, it says, and Muhammad, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَى رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَيَرْتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرَّسُولٌ Muhammad is nothing but a prophet, and all prophet before him they die. This is a contradiction because Jesus did not die. Yeah. But the same verse saying, and if he die or get killed, I mean, Surah 3, uh, one, 144. 144. If he okay. die or get killed, uh, Allah is talking now. Don't he know that if he is, he's going to die or get killed? I mean, <laughs> is there the third option? <laughs> like, what is the third option will be, you know? <laughs> so if he die, why? Because this idiot, Muhammad, he wasn't sure how he would die. He might get killed, he might die normally. So now he have, have to cover his ass, excuse my language. So he said, okay, if he got, if he die or get killed. So if he die, they will say, okay, he said he might die. Okay. And if he get killed, he might kill. Uh, ich lese mal den Vers vor, Sure 3, Vers 144. Und Muhammad ist nur ein Gesandter. Schon vor ihm gingen die Gesandten dahin. Und ob er stirbt oder getötet wird, werdet ihr auf euren Versen umkehren und wer auf seinen Versen umkehrt, nimmt scha äh, nimmer schadet er Allah et etwas. Aber Allah wird wahrlich die Dankbaren belohnen. <lacht> It's not the same uh, uh, like you. Uh, uh, the, the translation? Maybe the translation he, maybe he used Google translation? I don't know. Yeah, what it says translate to me. <laughs> It's hard to translate it for, uh, for, for, for you. And Muhammad is no, uh, it's the same uh, like you said the first sentence. Okay, and if he die or get killed, does yeah, say that? Schon vor ihm gingen die Gesandten dahin. Uh, and uh, the, the, before him, the, the messengers. Die. Or they die. Or they they went die. away. Yeah. They die, they die, not went away. Yeah. Um, und, ob, und ob er stirbt oder getötet wird. Werdet ihr auf euren Versen umkehren? Ja, wie soll man das übersetzen? And if, if they die or get killed, hmm. you, you will see you, it in you, you will leave. You, you might you might leave Islam or etc. Uh, okay. Mostly, according to my understanding for this verse, mostly this verse is added long after Muhammad death, mm -hmm. because what happened? Many many people when they heard Muhammad he died, they left Islam. Yeah, yeah. the the big so mostly this verse is written long after. This is not part of the Quran in time of Muhammad. However, Muslim believe that this is part of the Quran of Muhammad, but this is contain a very huge contradiction. Number one, Muhammad is a prophet, all messenger before him, they die. And that contradict the story of Jesus, that Jesus did not die. 
Mm. Number two, Muhammad, if he got killed or he died, we are talking about God is talking. Why in the world, God who knows everything, he don't, he's not sure if Muhammad will get killed or he died. So it's like saying to you, uh, if a Christian prince get killed or he uh, die when he is asleep. I mean, there's a third option. Uh, there's a there's a there's a guy. Uh, he was telling me a story about a guy who predicted that his wife is uh, delivering a baby, and this is supposedly coming from the Sunnah. But uh, 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 we, we could not uh, uh, like find the hadith which is really solid to support this story. Mm -hmm. But the story is saying this: that a guy he came to the Prophet. And again, I'm not saying this is going to be supported, to but this is what the Muslims believe. A Muslim, he told me this story, that a guy, he came to the Prophet, and he told him, I have a wife, she's a bread net. Then, after some time, he came back to him, and he's so happy, and he told him, my wife delivered a baby. So the Prophet, he said, it must be a boy. The guy, he said, no. He said, it must be a girl then. The guy he says, "Praise be to Allah." How you know? What? what, 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 what? I, I I could not really. This is what the Muslims report to me. I look for this hadith. I could not really find it. No, you're not finding it. Yeah, That's I could not that. find. But this is what they believe in. You know. But this is explained to you how stupid their mind. I mean, don't you use your brain? If he just told him, "It's a boy," and then he said, "No, it's not a boy," and then you say, he said to him, "It must be a girl." Then and you say, "Praise be to Allah." How you know? <laughs> You know, yes, yes. so there's tons of stories. The Muslim they, they carry about Muhammad to praise him, but if you if you just listen to them carefully a little bit, you will see how stupid they are. The same as when the Muslim he uh, uh, you know praise. Uh, today I was uh, I was uh, making a video uh, about the, the the chapter of uh, uh, speaking about series the, the star series. Mm. The Muslim they make it a, as a as a miracle that. Uh, how the Quran speak about the stars and the, the, the science discover, but this is have nothing to do with this. It's have to do with Allah or Jibreel coming down speaking to Muhammad. Mm. So Muslims, because they try to make Muhammad the, the Superman, the, the uh, Spider Man, you know. So all lies are accepted. The second you you make, you know, you see, as long you are lying, praising Muhammad, nobody question your lie. Yeah. As long you say the even truth. the truth. Uh. But it's painful. Everybody accuses to be. So long as you lose, um, the Islam, halt, wie ich in meinem Video Takia gesagt habe, um den Islam nach vorne zu bringen, ist ja alles erlaubt. Hauptsache der Islam steht gut da. Wenn auch wenn du auch lügst, ist egal. Mach einfach. Solange du noch Menschen da reinholst in den Islam, ist es alles erlaubt. You know, I asked the Muslim, the one who told me the Hadith. Okay, each time I tell you something, you tell me, give me the Hadith a reference. Okay, give me the reference for this hadith because it's priceless. I want to have it. He said, yeah. I know to find it. So if a Muslim, he say it, they don't question it. Mm -hmm. But if you say it, they question you. Mm -hmm. Now, the Muslim himself, he could not report to me where he got this story from. Maybe, maybe it's a lie. Mm -hmm. But this is not my business. The business is how Muslims believe even in lies. As long as you are praising the same as Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, they ask him, uh, why Allah, he give a uh, uh, version only to men? A woman, if you saw the video, yeah, 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 a woman yeah, she yeah, asked Zakir Naik, why in Islam men only get versions? What Zakir Naik he said, brother Tutor, first of all, the word who is what are the name? And it's not about male or female. It is possible to be male and female at the same time. But what, what male and female at the same time? The Quran says that, that those that those who they never been bleeding, they never lost the blood from, from their uh, private part. Yes. It's there in the front of your eyes, you know. How you say that? But none of the Muslim ask him. But it says there they will not. They did not. They, they will not touched by men or genie, and they did not bleed. You know, they did not even have intercourse with them. So, ten thousand Muslim watching watching this guy live. Not even one put his hand up. He says, "You eat it." What are you talking about? The Quran <laughs> says it clearly. They are women, mm -hmm. and it says actually in Arabic. You know, in Arabic we have. Uh, he says those who are men. Huh? He said he said it's not uh, the word who is for men and women, which ah, means which mean the man will get uh, mm. and the men will get whore too. And this is good news for the Muslim girls. Now each one of them she will get seventy men to find the bed. <laughs> you know, uh, but here you see in, in in Arabic we have something it's called noon and nuswa. You see, like in English you add she in the front of female. Mm. All right. 
but when you say, you say you, it can be for both. In Arabic, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. So when you add the letter noon at the end of a word, that make it only for females. And the Quran mentioned that clearly. So it's for females. This is called noon in this world, which means then the letter noon for the females. You know? So like if I say hunna, it's mean they as women. Mm -hmm. If I say hum, for sure, I'm talking about men. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, but the uh, but it can be mixed with humma be between men and uh, women. But if you say hunna, it is must 100% women. So Zakir Naik is a big scholar for Muslims because he is praising Islam and Islam. making lies about Islam. Mm -hmm. But nobody questioned his authority. Nobody questioned how stupid he is because as long as he is promoting Islam, who care? Mm -hmm. But the Christian prince, he says something. He showed the reference. All my books is full of reference. I have nothing there except reference. Deswegen, alle seine Bücher sind voller Referenzen und voller Quellenangaben. Wenn du der Meinung bist, dass dieses Buch eine Lüge ist, der Bruder ist fast jeden zweiten Tag live oder jeden Tag live. Every day you are live on a broadcast on your channel. Absolutely. Uh, sein Kanal ist uh, Arab for Christ, uh, Christian Ara Prince, Arabian Prophet. The Arabian Prophet. Ich werde das alles unten in der Beschreibung verlinken, wenn das Video zu Ende ist. Und wenn ihr möchtet, ja. Yeah. Wenn ihr möchtet, kann, könnt ihr mich anschreiben, das kann man schon sehen. Ich habe es schon in der Beschreibung äh, gemacht. Wenn ihr möchtet und ihr meint, dass dieses Buch irgendwelche Lügen beinhaltet oder dass die Übersetzungen falsch sind, so könnt ihr mich anschreiben, wir gehen live mit ihm und dann zeigt er uns über den äh, Screen alles, damit ihr endlich euren Mund haltet, ehrlich. Weil es kann nicht sein, dass ihr immer sagt, Daif, Falsche Übersetzungen, das stimmt nicht, das ist eine Lüge, der hat keine Ahnung, doch, der hat Ahnung. Das ist ein Gelehrter, nicht so wie ihr, mit ja. zwei Haare hier äh, raushängen und dann so tun, als wärt ihr voll die Gelehrten. Nein, das ist gar nichts, nichts. Ihr müsst von jemandem lernen, der äh, and, euch nicht anlügt. And you know, we challenge anyone, we can make a, another, another show. We challenge any Muslim to challenge us, to show him the reference and he can prove to us ja. that they are not exist. Also er sagt, er fordert jeden Muslim heraus. Wenn du meinst, dass dieses Buch oder dieses Buch Lügen beinhaltet oder dass etwas nicht stimmt, der Bruder ist jeden zweiten oder jeden Tag live. Du kannst mich anschreiben und wir gehen zusammen live in seinen Raum und wir diskutieren über das Buch oder über das Buch. Was dir nicht passt, wir gehen jedes einzelne Ding durch. Ich garantiere dir, wenn du das machst, wirst du heute noch den Islam verlassen. 100%. Deswegen machen die Muslime das nicht. Die kommen niemals live und fragen nach dem Buch und nach den Referenzen. Die haben alle Angst, weil, weil sie wissen, dass er ein arabisch sprechender äh, Mensch ist, der perfekt die Quellen kennt und der da euch Muslimen Einheit gebieten kann. Das ist das. Deswegen traut ihr euch nicht. Ihr habt Angst vor der Wahrheit. Aber was sagt der Herr? Nur die Wahrheit kann uns frei machen und die Wahrheit wird uns auch befreien. So. Amen. Johannes 8, Vers 32 muss es ja. sein. Richtig. Ja. You know, the, the, the Muslims, they reach the point, they will say to you, the Quran is da'if. And already many Muslims, they mentioned that to me already, mm -hmm. when I showed them something very stupid in the Quran. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, already the Muslims, they are denying the Quran, saying the Quran is full of fabrication. If you go on YouTube, you will search to uh, uh, Imam Yasser Habib, as an example. He's a sheikh, mm -hmm. he's very well known. And this guy, he had a series in English about how the Quran is corrupted. You know, wow. and yeah, it, there's many uh, Muslim Sheikh agree. Actually, even Sunni, if you go uh, to uh, Imam al Suyuti, al Suyuti, he listed at least, at least between 60 to 70 corruption in the Quran. Wow. And those 60 or 70 corruption goes to 100 of verses, not a verse, not two. As an example, in one of the corruption stories, it says that the chapter of Al Baqarah uh, used to be equal to the chapter of Al Ahzab. Mm -hmm. which means there's more than 210 verses at least uh, are gone, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, history. We cannot find them. So, uh, 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 or, oh, wait, uh, es gibt, er redet gerade über die Verfälschung des Korans und dass Imam Al-Suyuti uh, sagt, dass es sehr viel Verfälschung im Koran eingetreten sind und dass sehr viele Verse auch nicht mehr im Koran zu finden sind. Und die Sura um, Al-Azab, Sura 33, war so groß wie Surat Al-Bakr, also die Sura 2. Und die ganzen Verse sind im Laufe der Geschichte verloren gegangen, weil die Muslime ja das Buch misshandelt haben, wie die wollten. Die haben mit dem Wort Gottes gespielt, also Wort Gottes im, im Sinne von, mit, von, ihrem Gott. Eigenen, von ihrem eigenen Gott. Ja. Uh, if, if people have a question, they can ask, you know. Okay, okay. wenn ihr Fragen habt, fragt den Bruder Christian Prinz. Hat einer eine Frage von euch?
Ja, du kannst auch weiterlesen. Also es geht uns ja auch nicht, an, äh, in erster Linie geht es ja auch uns nicht darum, Muslime zu kränken oder äh, irgendwie so zu beleidigen. Wir wollen ja jeden Muslim für den Herrn Jesus gewinnen. Das ist unsere Intention. Und zwar die einzige Intention. Wir wollen uns weder lustig machen über, über andere Religionen oder was auch immer. Wir müssen aber die Dinge beim Namen nennen. Und dann kommen wir nicht drum herum, auch eben Dinge aufzuzeigen, die unangenehm sind. Aber es ist nicht unsere Intention, die Muslime zu kränken. Wir wollen, dass die Muslime errettet werden. Das ist unsere Hauptintention. Und deswegen müssen die Muslime verstehen, dass wir es eigentlich gut meinen mit ihnen und nicht aus boshaftigen Intentionen sie irgendwie schlecht dalassen wollen. Nein, wir wollen, dass sie die Wahrheit erkennen, was der Islam wirklich ist. Was er auch lehrt, was er wirklich lehrt. Genau, dass sie halt sich um ihre eigene Religion kümmern. Und wenn das, wenn das dann an, wenn das annehmbar ist für, für die Muslime, was sie dann selber herausfinden werden, durch das Lesen zum Beispiel von, von den Büchern von Christian Prince, ja, wenn das annehmbar ist für euch Muslime, dann ist es okay, dann nehmt es an, dann macht es, dann praktiziert den Islam, aber den wahren Islam, was im Koran steht, was in der Sunna steht und so weiter. Ja. Aber, aber ihr könnt nicht sagen, äh, ich bin Muslim und äh, euch nicht um eure eigene Religion kümmert. So, dann, dann seid ihr blinde Muslime. Ihr folgt einer Religion, die ihr gar nicht kennt. Und das ist tödlich. Vor, vor allen Dingen, wenn es, mit, wenn es um Gott geht, da könnt ihr nicht einfach blind irgendeiner Religion, in die ihr, ihr, ihr hineingeboren seid, annehmen und denken, das ist, das ist absolut richtig. Denn da kann ja jeder Buddhist kommen und sagen, ja, ich bin als Buddhist hier geboren, in meiner Familie buddhistisch, dann muss das ja die Wahrheit sein. Da kann ja jeder kommen. Es geht hier darum, dass man sich wirklich auf die Suche begibt und unsere Quellen nachprüft, und dann selbst zur Wahrheit gelangt. Das ist die Devise. Ja, es ist doch nicht so schwer, mit seiner äh, loszuziehen und die Quellen mal zu überprüfen und nicht immer zu sagen, das ist alles falsch, ist alles falsch. Dann kommen auch noch Muslime, die noch nicht mal Arabisch können und dann so tun, als würden sie Arabisch können ja. und dann äh, versuchen die Quellen da von ihm in Frage zu stellen. Das ist doch das Heftigste an der ganzen Sache. Geht doch nicht so mit eurer Seele um. Ist doch kostbar. Wir sind auch als Muslime geboren. Selbst Mohammed sagt, jeder Mensch ist als Muslim geboren. CP, there is a narration in, in uh, Sahih Bukhari, or I think uh, Sahih Muslim, in which Muhammad said, every uh, person is born as a Muslim. Yes. When someone tells me I was not a Muslim, I tell him here, your prophet said, everybody is a Muslim. Or right. as a Muslim, that, that means you are a liar. But, but, the, but do you know how, how stupid this statement is? Because in Sahih al-Bukhari, there is uh, Aisha, she attend uh, a funeral with, uh, with Muhammad mm. for a child who is an infant. Oh, okay. And, yes. and this infant, he died. And Aisha, she said, lucky, this infant will be a bird. Es gibt eine Überlieferung, in dem Aisha zu Muhammad sagt, ah, ähm, oh, schau, uh, Muhammad, dieses Baby ist gestorben. Es ist, so ein, es ist jetzt glücklich. Also so nach dem Motto, es ist jetzt da, es ist jetzt im Paradies quasi. So Muhammad, he said to her, uh, which means don't be stupid, Aisha. Nobody knows uh, uh, where he will be in heaven or hell for Allah. He wrote his fate oh. for everyone before he was born, when they are in the backbone of their father, mm -hmm. because it's not believed that we are coming from the backbone. Yes, I know. Yeah, me and me, we came from the backbone. I can tell from our faces. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <lacht> so, ja, also, so he, yeah, ja, also Mohammed sagt dann zu Aisha, Aisha erzähl nicht sowas. Der Allah entscheidet, wer ins Paradies geht und wer nicht. Aber das ist ein, ein jetzt sind das meine Worte, aber das ist ein Baby. Das Baby hat nie und niemals in seinem Leben gesündigt. Und dann sagt er, ja, Allah hat schon bestimmt, ob dieses Baby im Paradies kommt oder nicht. Habt ihr euch so eine Aussage schon mal durch den Kopf gehen lassen? Da stirbt ein Baby, das, man, das macht so mal. Äh, äh, versteht ihr, was ich meine? Das, kann, das nuckelt gerade mal an, an irgendwelchen äh, Nukis. Und dann, und dann sagt Mohammed ja, wer weiß, ob dieses Kind in der, in der Hölle oder im Himmel ist. Das kann nicht wahr ja, sein. Also, dass Allah das Schicksal dieses Babys schon vorher festgelegt genau, hat. Genau, das meinte yeah, ich. Before, dann. before they are made, even. Allah destiny. Your, 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 your destiny. But here the problem, because you just mentioned, Everyone is born as a Muslim. Yes. Okay. To go to heaven is to be as a Muslim. Mm. Now we have a baby. He was born as a Muslim mm. from a Muslim family. Mm. And even the one who is not from a Muslim family is a Muslim, as you say. Mm. So now what is the reason for this baby to go to hell? If he's born from a Muslim family and he's born as a Muslim and he never commits sin. Yes. I, I, Any Muslim can explain to us? Nobody. nobody. They will say to you one thing. Allah knows best. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best sentence I ever heard. Because they write... Uh, 
such a, 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 a Muslim uh, uh, say that yes, all yes, babies yes. go when they, they, no, they go to no, no, here we go. The story is saying to so clear. Everyone is his decision is made when he is not even born yet where he will go to hell or to heaven. And this here approved the idea Islam to be stupid. Why? Because this baby he never commits sin. And he did not reach the age of sin, as Aisha even confirmed. Mm. So he is little baby. Yeah, he had not the age for, for sinning. It's a baby. Gewesen. Yeah, and Muhammad did not say to her, no, no, he commits sin. He did not agree, uh, uh, like disagree about that. He agreed he did not commit sin. But the problem is that Allah, he wrote the fate of every person before he was even made. Oh, okay. You know, before he's made creation, not uh, is even born. Mm -hmm. Because the, the point of creation is not when you are born. Mm -hmm. It's nine months ago, you know. But according to Islam, you are, uh, uh, your fate is written, as we said, uh, Musa, he said, my fate written to me 40 years before my creation. Mm -hmm. So 40 years before the baby created, Allah, he wrote that this person will go to hell or might go to heaven. That's why Muhammad is not sure. So he said to Aisha, don't say that, for no one knows where he will go. He might go to hell or might go to heaven, for Allah wrote the destiny of those who go to hell when they are in the father in their father uh, back home yes. and those who will go to heaven when they are in their father back home mm -hmm. so now here the problem is if every person who is a muslim who practices islam he will go to heaven what is the reason to go to heaven sin not to commit sin he will go a child he never commits sin mm -hmm. number two is a muslim so why he will go to hell <laughs> that is a that, there. Th this this is story alone that story alone will destroy all the cult of Islam because how you say commit don't commit sin pray to Allah ask for forgiveness and blah blah blah, blah 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 but this guy he did not do anything but here if you remember from the beginning you said to me there's a hadith that says if we don't commit sin Allah will destroy us oh, and replace yeah. us mm -hmm. all right so this child is not lucky because he did not commit sin. <laughs> For Allah don't like him. He like committed sin wow. people, you know. Allah so, mag nicht mal dieses Kind, ne? Ja, weil es noch nicht gesündigt hat und weil Allah Menschen mag, sündigen, damit er ihn vergeben kann. Also wird er dieses Baby erst recht in die Hölle werfen, ne? Ja, dann dann ich mal. ja, genau. Also er hat ein Problem mit einem Mann. Baby, das noch nicht gesündigt hat. Weil in dem ersten Hadith, was ich euch vorgelesen habe, wo Allah es liebt, dass Menschen sündigen. Und wenn die nicht sündigen, dann wird er die äh, Menschheit ersetzen durch eine andere Menschheit, die sündigt. Damit Allah ihnen vergeben kann, weil er das liebt, dieses Vergeben immer wieder von den Sünden. By the way, when I was a kid, I was a Muslim. Uh, uh, my mom told me that I used to do uh, bupu in my diver. And I think this is the clear sign that I was a Muslim at that time. Because obviously I have no idea what's happening. Allah knows best. <laughs> so if you ask me what's happening down there, I would say Allah knows best. I don't know. I'm a, you know. Everyone is born as a Muslim. This is the most stupid statement to say. Number one, here we need to question, is religion a choice or we are born with it? Mm -hmm. If it's we are born with it, it means we are not a free and there's no free will. In the Bible, it's totally the opposite. You have to be reborn again, not born yes. of a Christian family. Like you yourself, you are not born of a Christian family, but you decide to become a Christian. Mm -hmm. And a person who is born of a Christian family does not make him a Christian. So Christian is totally the opposite. Mm -hmm. Muslim believe that you are before you are born, it's written in your faith. So what the point? Why I'm going to be punished for my faith, which yes. is written for me? Warum soll ich denn bestraft werden, was Allah schon für mich vorbereitet hat? Das ist ja völliger Blödsinn. If you remember the hadith where Muhammad he said that one of you he will do the work of people of heaven until there is a distance of an arm between him and heaven. And then what is written by Allah will take over and he start acting as the people of hellfire and he go to hellfire. Oh. And then he said, and there's one of you will do the, the act of hellfire all their life. And then what is written by Allah, when there's only a distance of an arm between them and hellfire, what is written by Allah will take over and he will start acting uh, uh, as people of heaven and he go to heaven. That's mean your action have doesn't matter. It's what's written by Allah anyway. Mm -hmm. So why I want to pray? At the end of the day, what is written by Allah is going to take over. Useless. Though. Why I want to convert? You know, why I want to be a Muslim? Why I want to be a Jew? Why I want to be anything? Because at the end, forget about all religions in the world. If Islam is the only true religion, and this is the logic, it's there is there is a distance of an arm between me and hell, and then what is written by Allah will take over anyway. Mm -hmm. So what the point of a praying five times a day and going Don't around the black sense. stone Don't and pointing sense. my head? I live in Germany, but yet I'm pointing my head to Mecca. How that is going to work anyway? I mean, yes. I'm going to hit uh, the twilight seat. I mean, how you can? Uh, Mecca is on the other side of the earth. Mm -hmm. 
and especially for me, like I live in I live in America, the only way to to, to face Mecca is to put your head in the two eight seat. Yeah. You know, it's in the other side of the earth. Yes, yes. So it, it, the the Lord, there is no logic in this card, and that can you know you mentioned to me if if uh, if Islam uh, uh, is not from God, you will find contradiction. <laughs> So how the Quran says those who do good deeds, blah 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 blah. There is no sorrow for them, and they will be rewarded in gardens, and Allah will give them bracelet and TV and big screen and etc. And then we find that it's, the fate is written for us. So what is the reward? Is talking about? There's no reward, you know. So uh, uh, the more you read about Islam, the more you notice that it's a it's a chain of contradictions. There is nothing there match the same page contradict itself, you know. Like from the beginning, you open the Fatiha, you, 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 you will feel like somebody is, is standing in your face. Yeah. Bismillah, Allahumma Allahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Like how in the heck Allah says Alhamdulillah, Rabbil yeah. Alameen. Allah saying Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The Muslim, they will say to you, this is a prayer, brother, brother. No, it's not a prayer. Allah is praying. Did he say they are say, pray? No. The Quran, there's many verses says, where it says Allah said, Qul, which means Allah saying to Muhammad, say. say, say. All right. But this verse, there's no Qul. This is was Muhammad trying to copy our father out of heaven. You know, yeah. if you notice the end of the verses, you know, where he says, forgive to us, you know, like well, what forgive well, us? Uh, you know, know. Yeah. us. What forgive, forgive, you know, when we see guidance, you know, it's like the same as uh, the Christians, they have a, a, our father out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, he don't have one. So he created short one to match our father out of yeah, heaven. That's true. And that make him look more stupid and more funny because it's a stupid prayer. You know, when 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 Jesus said that prayer, they asked him how to pray. Mm. So there's a logic there. How we pray? He said, "Say this, mm. all right? Pray like that." But you don't have to say it exactly. By the way, mm. you know, is uh, he is giving you the idea how you can see God, forgive to us as we forgive to others. And this is a great logic because uh, you know, in order to be given, you have to give. Yes. So, you know, if you are hungry and you want somebody to feed you, okay, well, we will feed you, but are you willing to feed somebody who is hungry tomorrow? You know? And forgiveness is the same. We ask the, the high mighty to forgive us, but why we deserve forgiveness if we are not willing to forgive to people? Yes. So here, Jesus, even in a shorter prayer, is teaching us something priceless. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness first, then you belong to me. You know? Amen. But in Islam, Forgiveness does not exist. It's uh, you curse people, you know. Uh, a Muslim, like Muhammad, he, Muhammad, Muhammad, yeah, curse Muhammad he curse everybody. The Quran curse everybody. The Muslim curse everybody. even Al Fatiha. It's curse. Yes. Al Fatiha so says, alayhim wa Not like the cursed one, the Jews within the Jews, mm -hmm. and the one who they are lost, the Christians. I mean, I cannot pray to God without mentioning the Jews and the Christians. <laughs> that that means they they curse us five times a day. Yeah? yeah, and the funny they say we are the one who have a phobia. You are the one who mentioned our name before even you wash your face in the morning. You say, don't Allah, don't make us the same as the Christians and the Jews, please, Allah, don't make us the same like that, like that. Like, what's wrong with the Christian and the Jews? Look at them, here it's we go, go ahead. Hateful, it's, 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 it's too much hate. It is too Jesus. much a pressure of hate. And Muhammad, he don't, this is why in chapter 5, verse 51, he says, don't take the Christian and the Jews as a friend, Friends. you know? Awliya means Aulia, friends. Aulia, I mean friends and Why protectors. Why did they say protectors? Why did they lie in their uh, You see, actually, protectors is a good word for me because that will get them more busted. Because yes. if somebody want to protect you, it means he is more than a friend. Yes. You know, it means he loves you, right? So why I cannot take someone as a protector because I'm a hateful person, mm. you know? I refuse Like that. the police when in, you take uh, it to yeah. protect them. Yeah, chapter 10, uh, verse number 62, it also says awliya, but then it's uh, it says friends. You and see, the translation is a translation. We don't care. The translation, they can't play with it. But even if the Muslim, they say that the word awliya mean, mean protectors, you know? Protectors is more uh, 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 more value or valuable than a friend because a friend not necessarily will protect you, but a protector is a protector. So, and this is what expose the Muslim lies when they say, Oh, those are our enemies. How they are your enemies, but they, they want to protect you. Yeah. <laughs> you, that know? you can go, yeah. you don't can go How to you police, say, huh? like in chapter 3, verse 28, the verse of the Duqiyya, mm -hmm. okay? It says the same, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, 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 like, you know, protection. Mm -hmm. But you ask a Muslim, he says, okay, if, if you are a soldier in the army and your enemy capture you, mm -hmm. 
and aren't you going to lie? But this is not about this. You just said it's a protection. Those are going to protect you, Aulia. You just said they are Aulia protectors. So how do your enemy, how they are your enemy, but they want to protect you? Have you ever heard of an enemy like, enemy like this? Can I hire some? <laughs> some enemies who want to protect me? Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. So they expose themselves even when they fabricate the, 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 the translation. Because even the translation, which is a lie, is proving Islam to be a false cult. Same time, in chapter 5, verse 14, when the Quran says that Allah, he will spread hate and enmity between the Christians. Yes, yes. Okay. If I ask anyone, I ask a Muslim once, do you think spreading hate will make the world better? He said, no. Because he said to me, Christian Prince, you are spreading hate. I said, why am I spreading hate? He says, because you are making people uh, angry from the Christians. I said, but you are angry from me already. The Quran says to you, you have to be angry from me. You have to kill me. I'm not. I'm just reading for you what is in the Quran. So I said to him, do you agree with me? Let us, let, let, let us make a common sense between us. Do you agree with me that hate spreading is a crime? It's satanic. He said, yes. He said, do you promise me you will not change your mind? He said, yes. He said, you promise me you will change your mind. He said, why are you are repeating? I said, I'm like Muhammad. I have to repeat three times. You know? So after three times, he when he heard that Muhammad, he said three, that three times, he agreed to say it three times. So he said, yes, three times. And then I, I asked him to read the chapter 5, verse number 14. He finished the verse. He said, "Assalamu alaikum and leaving. Uh, <laughs> because he had no answer. Uh, you know? yeah. Yeah. It's the most like them. Yeah. Most Muslims. But, like but, uh, but uh, uh, it's obvious. Why in the world? Imagine Jesus saying, go spread hate. Hmm. What hate for? Well, I mean, what the purpose of hate? Why am I spread hate between the Christians? Why am I spread hate between the Muslims? Muslims yeah. you know? it's a, it's hate, hate, is, hate is a pure satanic. Mm. There's no question about that. And anyone who has a simple logic, he knows that hate is wrong. Mm. So how in the world we have God, he is saying, I'm going to target the Christians, and he is namely naming the Christians. What about naming the communists? I mean, the, uh, the Quran says the most close people to the, to the, to the Muslims are the Christians. Then you want to spread hate for them? It doesn't make sense in the same chapter. Mm. So how they are the most close to the, to the, to the Muslims, and then you want to spread hate between them? Simply because the Quran is not a book. Quran is like, uh, you know, uh, uh, you go to a, a grocery store, you get a basket. Mm -hmm. You get one orange from here, mm. one tomato like from there. Part. Yeah, you know, right. like you put, uh, you put things, you buy shoes, you put it in the same thing. Like, a, oh, what are you, uh, uh, like right? a, you are in the mall, you know, you buy things and you have a cart. Mm. And then after that, you, you dump the cart in the trunk and this is the Quran. <laughs> Everyone makes his own faith. This is why the verses don't match. How you say they are the most close people to, to, to Allah, to, to, to Muslims, and then you say they are spread hate between them and I will kill them. Mm. The reason for that, at that moment, Muhammad was trying to play Nasara, as we said before we start yes. podcast. Muhammad in the beginning, he was trying to play Nasara, like not a Christian. Nasara is a Christian cult. Mm. So when he was in a good relation with the Nasara, playing to be one of them, he was acting as a person uh, who, uh, you know, the Christian will go to heaven. The Jews will go to heaven. The Sabian will go to heaven. Uh -huh. Everybody will go to heaven. Uh -huh. Whoever believe in Allah, you know, and the last days will believe in heaven. Uh -huh. And but those, the Jews and the Christian and the Sabian, they will go to heaven. But then, when he noticed that the Nasara are rejecting him too, so he get angry from them. Uh -huh. The Jews refuse him. Muhammad, he said, if 10 Jews accepted me, all the Jews will accept me. Uh -huh. And this is a hadith. It's Sahih. And then the Sabian, they dumped him too. They don't want him to be Sabian because obviously he's false. Yes. So Muhammad suddenly he against everybody. The Sabian are not too many around him, so he did not launch war against them. Mm -hmm. But he focused in the Christian and the Jews who they are again, you know, around. And this is how Islam is. This is why you you find you know like uh, it doesn't make sense. Some verses speaking kind words about uh, you know the christians mm, very but, confusing yeah some of them they are monks and they are good and blah 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 and then later he says kill them or whatever you know uh, uh, fight them and, and here, the here we are starting the doctrine of abrogation huh? uh, so uh, abro uh, abrogation uh, happened for many reasons uh, the, the, <laughs> most of the muslims don't know the uh, the, the quran uh, talks about abrogation huh? there's tons of verses in the quran they are not valid no more this is number one so all, to yeah, all the German they need to be aware that there is many verses in the Quran. Muslim they might show them they are not to be followed. Mm. Also, es gibt im Koran die sogenannte Abrogation, in welchen Muslime auch gar keine Ahnung haben, dass es überhaupt sowas gibt. Nur es gibt viele, viele Muslime, die das kennen, aber 
äh, einige Muslime, die leugnen natürlich die Abrogation, weil das natürlich, der, der Koran ist ja dann ein leeres Buch, wenn es die Abrogation gibt, weil die ganzen friedlichen Verse durch die harten, aggressiven Medina-Verse aufgehoben worden sind. Wenn das nicht so wäre, dann haben wir hunderte von Widersprüchen da drin, beispielsweise Sura 109, Sura Al-Kafir, wie ich immer sage, äh, für euch eure Religion und für mich meine Religion. Ihr dient nicht dem ich diene und ich diene nicht dem ihr dient. Schön für euch. Für euch eure Religion, für mich meine Religion. Oder hier in Sura 2256. Ähm, es gibt keinen Zwang in der Religion. Aber dann finden wir wieder Passagen, wo es heißt in Sura 9, Vers 29, kämpft gegen diejenigen, die nicht an Allah glauben und an den nächsten Tag. Also hier gibt es hunderte von äh, Widersprüchen, wenn es so wäre. Und dann finden wir auch den Vers, wo es steht... Ähm, dass äh, die Juden, Christen, Sabea und alle, die an den Allah und an den jüngsten Tag glauben, äh, gerettet werden. Und dann finden wir wieder einen anderen Vers, wo steht, wenn jemand etwas anderes als den Islam begeht, als Religion, wird er nimmer mehr von Allah Vergebung erlangen. Das ist wirklich ein Direktion. direkter Widerspruch. Mhm. Und hier setzt die Kunst der Abrogation ein. Und das äh, besprechen wir gerade in Sura 2, Vers 106. Und wenn ein Muslim sagt, dass es keine Abrogation in der Koran dann muss er Allah zu sein. Ja, wenn ein Muslim behauptet, dass es keine Abrogation im Koran ist, äh, gibt, dann, äh, muss, dann erklärt er seinen Gott Allah zu einem Lügner. In, in Chapter 2, in der Kau Chapter 1, Vers 106, es oh. sagt, Any verses we, call, that we abrogate or mm. cause to be forgotten, we will replace it with something similar or better. Okay. Äh, in Surah 2, Vers 106, wie ich gerade gesagt habe, steht, äh, wenn wir einen Vers tilgen oder in Vergessenheit geraten lassen, bringen wir einen Bess besseren, einen, der ihm gleich ist. So fängt die ganze Abrogation an. Ja, yeah, and how in the world Allah will make better Quran than his Quran? <lacht> und wie zur, wie zur Hölle quasi, Entschuldigung, äh, bringt der Allah einen besseren Koran, als er schon gemacht hat. Als seinen eigenen Koran. Als seinen eigenen Koran. Yeah. It's like saying, uh, my coming book in German would be better than my first book. Ja. Yeah. But that makes sense for a human being, because his English maybe improved or German improved. <lacht> yeah. But there is some uh, mistakes in there. And, and the funny, the Muslims, they say, nobody can make Quran better than, better than Allah. But Allah himself, he's saying he will make Quran better than the Quran. <laughs> because, yeah, because this is what it says. Why man das tun? Because, because this is what it says. In Arabic, it says, it's, not, it's in the front of me, it says, مَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا نَأْتِي بِخَيْرٍ مِثْلِهَا مِنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا None of the verses we, uh, we, uh, we cause to be abrogated, Uh, or, or to, uh, to be forgotten, we, but we will come with something better or similar. similar. Mm -hmm. And here the stupid logic is, like I'm saying to you, I'm going to destroy your house and I'm going to build a similar house. I mean, why you want to destroy my house? <laughs> <laughs> like I have, I, I, I have a house, 100 square meter. You say to me, and I have, I have four rooms. I will say to you, I will destroy your house and give you exactly the same house. Why you house? So give me my house, man, for what we're doing. You know? And the and, and or saying, and he is not sure. Look what he says. Nati bimitliha, oh, whichever the case, the same or better. He's not even sure if it's going to be the same, you know, or better. It might be better, but it might be the same, you know. But the point here, why I'm going to make the for he caused him to be forgetting the Quran. Why you cause me to forget the Quran? And the Muslim keeps saying to us, the Quran is in our chest. But Allah, he says, I will cause you to forget the Quran. <laughs> so the logic of, uh, of, of Islam is, is destroyed in Islam itself. We have Quran. Nobody can write like it, according to them. Yes. But the Arab, they keep saying to Muhammad, what, what, you know, your Quran is stupid. You know, <laughs> he said, when he said to them, Make Quran like this. He, they said to him, "This is Asatir al This is the legend of all the stories. This is stupid." Mm -hmm. They did not say to him, "It's a miracle." You know, the Arab at that time they did not see the Quran as a language of amazing language. They were making fun. You know, if the Quran have a language, nobody can speak it. Mm -hmm. Why the Arab, who they are pure Arab, you know, in in, in the mean of language, why did they not see that? Where we can find in the Quran where it says the the Arab they were like amused, like wow. You know, they were making fun of him. They keep saying to him, even, you know, there's a, there's a story where Muhammad, he went uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to a tribe uh, to invite them to Islam. They beat the head of him. Mm. And the, one of the guys, the Arab, the Bedouin, he said to him, if you are a prophet, if you are a prophet, I, 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 I became kafir in God. You know, and then, and then they, asked, uh, they asked the young ones to start, you know, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to beat him. They beat Muhammad, they beat him literally. And Muhammad, he went there, he, uh, he did not enter Mecca for some time.
because he don't want people to see what happened in his face, in his uh, in his arms, etc. Because they made fun of him and they humiliated him. Mm -hmm. But why the Arab did not see the Quran as an, as a miracle? Why they did not see in Muhammad the Prophet? What's wrong? You know, the, you see? the Arabs were, uh, were themselves very po poetic. Huh? They are poet, the, poetic. They they, 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 they uh, uh, what is called in rap. When we, uh, I have a good rap, and right, he's right. rapping too, right, you know? right, and, right. and the Quraysh was the same, like, uh, my uh, uh, po poetic uh, verses are better than yours, you know, they yeah. are competition, the competition uh, to, you, you know, other. there is something that's called Saja al Quran, the rap of monks, ah, this is it, okay, Muhammad, uh, in my coming book, you will see, you will see about that, uh, about the roots of the Quran, uh, Muhammad, he used to listen to certain people, and the, this is all mentioned in reference to coming from Islamic books. Mm. And Muhammad, he was in love with some people who they speak like that, as the Quran mm. speak. Mm. But for sure, they have a very strong language, not like stupid Quran. So Muhammad, he learned a lot from them, and he liked the way they speak. And it was a normal way to speak at that time like this. Muhammad adopted, and then he forbid Muslim to do sajak. Mm. Because he don't want anyone to make competition mm. with his Quran, mm. you know, because Quran is a, is not a poet, it's a saja. Mm. And if you read the Quran, you will you because Muhammad trying to make saja, that broke the meaning. Mm. It's like I'm trying to find a word to keep the the tone, but how I can keep the tone with the word meaning, mm. that is very hard. So Muhammad sometimes he used words that you see if you if that we, we were talking about the chapter where it says one of you one hundred of you can fight one thousand mm -hmm. that mistake happened because of the saja. So Muhammad he found that uh, uh, if I if, if you use that, those words that will make it sound nice, mm -hmm. but then it is a problem with the numbers. So he was able to make it a nice song let us say to sing it, but he did not he was not able to to, uh, to accomplish the meaning, mm -hmm. and that exposed him. So he he was trying to make rap and breaking the meaning. And this is why the Quran, if you read any interpretation for the Quran, it says Allah knows best. Yes. Because it doesn't make sense. One verse is speaking about Abdul, the second verse is speaking about tomato. <laughs> you know? I challenge any Muslim to show me one chapter have connection together. Nothing. If, if we read the chapter of the cow, if we read the chapter of the cave, if we read the cha any chapter, you will not find anything in the chapter in connection with each other suddenly he's speaking about abraham suddenly he speaks he starts speaking about the christian suddenly he go back to his wife i mean what his wife's fight have to do with abraham and what the christians have to do it's mixed up you know because simply he was he was trying to make rap and each time he say few rap and he put them in the in the in the quran so that accumulate by time became became a big rap music book the most silly um, competition for Allah is, uh, is the um, the sentence, uh, the, the ayah in which he said, uh, <laughs> "When this book is not from God, then do a, a better uh, co co Quranic verse like this, or do yeah. Yeah. Say, create yeah. something better, yeah. create yeah. something better." When you not believe this is from God, I have a challenge. The most silly challenge I have, I've ever heard. I have a challenge to the Muslim. Put my book in the front of the camera. Okay. I challenge any Muslim to make better book than this book. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Can you? You know? Yeah, and uh, and uh, brother Amir, he, he will put a link for you down in the in Amazon, so you can no. get the book and try to make a book better than this book. <laughs> I mean, you see, if I make a book now, who uh, you know, when the Muslim they say Muhammad receives satanic verses. Oh, this is the most. Okay, hold on. If Muhammad receives satanic verses. Mm. And Muhammad did not notice that this is Satan speaking to him, giving him Quran. So, how you say who can make Quran like this? And Allah is changing the genie and the mankind to make Quran, but that's the Quran. That means Shaitan. And Shaitan is one. Shaitan is one of the genie. He's a genie, yeah. you know. So how Shaitan was able to give satanic verses, and Muhammad himself did not even notice. According, according to the story, after Muhammad he recited the satanic verses, Angel Jibreel. The pizza delivery guy. Mm. He came to Muhammad. He knocked at his door. He said to him, "Brother Muhammad, what you did, Muhammad? This is not Allah. This is Satan. You know." And Muhammad he said, "Like, oops, this is Satan. I don't know. I swear by Allah, I don't know." So now Allah he said to him, "Don't worry. Be happy. I'm going to delete the verses. Mm. You know. Now I am going to delete verses from where. 
You, you know what I mean? Yes. If if they are not in the Quran, why I need to delete them from the Quran? So they are, there was in that's there. Really, they are in the Quran, and now how we know they are deleted? How we know? No, no, uh, no. What, what I'm trying to say, if Muhammad he received verse mm. saying, whatever shaitan he throw in your mouth, we will delete. How we can be sure that this is not the shaitan himself again yeah. saying that verse to make everybody relax? Also in Surah 22, Vers 52 steht ja, wir werden das herausholen, was Shaitan eingeworfen hat. Aber wer, woher sollen wir wissen, ob nicht dieser Vers sogar von Satan ist? Der nächste Vers. Der Vers. Dann sage ich, wir werden also sozusagen was Besseres einstreuen, was Satan sagt. Vielleicht ist das auch ein Satan. Weil wir haben ja keine Garantie, dass das ja Allah ist auf einmal. Weil wenn Satan mehrere Verse entgehen kann, da kann auch der nächste sozusagen ja, Satan sein. Vor allen Dingen sozusagen so, so ähm, wissen die, die Sache so zu vertuschen. Ich Steht ich ihr, wenn einmal Satan reinkommt, dann ist Ende. If dann Shaitan, ist keine Garantie mehr. If Shaitan was Vertrauen. able to deliver the first verse and Muhammad himself did not notice, you see, when we say nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. Okay, who is the best one to notice if this is Quran from Allah or not? Muhammad. Not Zakir, no, I couldn't speak Arabic. <laughs> So, okay, here we go. We have Muhammad and Shaitan, he made Quran. Muhammad, he took the Quran of Shaitan and he said the Quran of Shaitan and he did not even notice that this is not from Allah. So, obviously, the Quran of Shaitan was so good to the point even Muhammad did not notice. Yes. Now, the, the Quran, den der auf einmal rezitiert hat, der war, musste ja so gut gewesen sein, dass, dass er den Unterschied dann nicht mal bemerkt Muhammad hat. Muhammad hat das nicht begriffen. Also, er hat das nicht bemerkt. Ja. Gar nicht, gar nicht. Er ja. hat einfach rezitiert und er dachte, das wird von Satan. Später kam Gabriel und hat zu ihm gesagt, was hast du getan? Das war von Satan. Also, uh, Jibril came to uh, Muhammad and said, what did you do? It was uh, from Satan uh, right. verses. Yeah, he came a while after, not right away. And then, you know, if a Muslim, he would say, they go, some Muslim, they would say to you, no, but Shaitan, he did not give Muhammad. But this is mean the Quran is corrupt. Because the verse, if you go to chapter 22, verse number 52, it says that whatever Shaitan he throw, mm. we will take it off. Mm. So Allah will take off nothing. That's stupid. Hmm. If there's nothing thrown in the mouth of Muhammad, why Allah need to take it off? He will take off nothing. That's stupid. That's why I'm asking Muslim, what yeah. was the verse in which Allah threw it out? What yeah. was this verse when and, the satanic verses are fabricated story? And what was the word? At the same time, you know, the Muslim believe that Muhammad Masum, which means he is protected ah, when it's come to religion. So where is the Asma, which means protection? Hmm. You know? Uh, black magic happened to him. Black magic happened because of a black where, magic. Where was same. Allah to help him or protect him? Uh, black ma black magic is is satanic. This one here proving that Muhammad was under the control of the devil, mm -hmm. you know. But I believe it's not about the devil controlling Muhammad as much. Muhammad himself is the devil, who is a plain victim. You see, Muhammad he worshipped the idols. And then people they start talking. This guy is a liar. Mm. We speak to the Christians. He says, "I worship your God." He speak to the Jews. He said, "I worship your God." He speak to the Arab. He worship Allah al Uzza. Mm. So what? He he have many faces. You know, this guy he's a Jew with a Jew, Christian with a Christian, uh, Hindu with the Hindu, Buddha with the Buddha, uh, Arab with the Arab, Persian with the Persian. He sit with Salman al Farisi. You know, he carry all the stories of the Persian. He put it in the Quran, and suddenly the Quran is full of Persian stories. Mm. You know, That like the pure Arabic, like the Hur. The, the story of the whole this is what this from is coming Persian, from, from, the, from the Persian uh, you know uh, mythology so there's there's a uh, women creatures who live high in, in uh, high places and those they will be rewarded for those who they are good ones and there's a Sirat al mustaqim Sirat al mustaqim mm -hmm. the, the, the bridge this is in the in the Persian uh, stories uh, there, there is tons of stories like uh, the, you know the uh, the stories in the cave the, the chapter of the cave about the seven sleepers the seven sleepers is a story written by a bishop. His name is Yaqub. He's mm -hmm. from Syria. Mm -hmm. He is a Syriac Christian, Syriac, which means Syrian, Syriac a Christian bishop who wrote a fiction story. Fiction, not a true story. Mm -hmm. true because at that time the Christian they were under discrimination. So he is telling them, okay, today we are under discrimination, but tomorrow we'll be victorious. So he wrote this is Seven Sleepers story, which is a fiction story. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, he took it. Because the story spread all over, the story is translated to all languages in the world. You can go right now, search in Google, Seven Sleepers. Mm -hmm. You will find true. even some Christian believing it to be a true story. You know, but it's a it's a pure fiction story. Muhammad he took it, he wrote it in the Quran. And but because he's ignorant, and because the Muslims after him they are more ignorant, the story says 
that uh, uh, you know kali'ahum uh, uh, they are they are seven and they have a dog with them according to the muslim quran today mm -hmm. they have a dog but in the original syriac story kali'ahum which means their provider the protector that is the angel so the stupid story became you know really funny because muhammad he could not he don't understand aramaic so kali'ahum became kalbahum so their angel became a dog <laughs> <laughs> if you read the verse it says and he was you know he, he opened his arms have you ever heard of, uh, of, uh, of a dog have arms <laughs> i mean he must be special <laughs> and like the story in in the uh, now you uh, uh, say it uh, uh, who in which uh, the imam al nawawi who said uh, you can uh, put your um, penis, uh, sorry for that, in, uh, in a woman anus, a man anus. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, how he can say such a thing? But like hold on, this. Let's, let's go to the, uh, in Islam, it's the, Muslim, the no, Muslim they say, the Muslim they say there's no shame in religion. So this is religion, so there's no shame, you know. But obviously, uh, they are right, there's no shame in Islam. But if you go to chapter 18, verse number 18, you know, and you read the, 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 the chapter about the, the, the seven sleepers, where the dog, he have his arms open. Mm -hmm. How the Muslim, they keep saying to us that uh, uh, dogs are uh, dirty, filthy, uh, blah, 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 blah. And Allah, then he says in the Quran that dogs are with them and he is their protector, you know. Protector from who? From army. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Army of kings, you know, the kings, king, king, he's a king. A dog will fight the army of things. <laughs> you know? It's all about animals. It's, it's, it's a I mean, this dog must be like a... Rambo dog. <laughs> Rambo, you know? Remember so, that. So, so, like, you see, the problem is when people read, they just read. Just focus. Listen to care for the young. I read it. Try to read it twice, three times. Think about it. I mean, it's a silly. It's a stupid. Seven sleepers. And, okay, they, 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 they sleep. Okay. If you go to the verse, to chapter 18, and it starts from like from the beginning of the story, you will see some they say they are three uh, and their dog is four. Some they say they are four and their dog is five. Some they say they are five and their dog is six. Some they say they are six and their dog is seven. I mean, for God's sake, just tell us how many they are. What's the point of this? I mean, do you, do you have the number? <laughs> but because Muhammad, he didn't know. You know, he didn't know how many they are. Some they say they are three and they, some they say they are four and they're... And you, you know, have you ever heard in any language you say, uh, I saw, uh, and uh, I saw some they say they are four and their dog is five? You, can, you don't count the dog as five. <laughs> the dog is not a human, not in Arabic, not in German, not in any language. You know, when you say, I saw five people, it's five people. You don't say, you don't say, you say, I saw four guys and one dog, right? You don't say, I saw five, four guys and one dog, <laughs> you know? So even even language is speaking is stupid. What four and their dog is now in, is, is in number five? Five uh, and six and their dog is, num is, is, is seven. We also one dog. You know? And here we go. We are, <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Yeah, we are, we, we are, we are here five and the dog is number six now. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's very funny. The logic is stupid. The language is stupid. But Muhammad is trying to, as I said, he's trying to make a rap song. So he, the meaning is, doesn't make sense. At the same time, the, actually chapter 18 is enough for anyone to leave Islam. I advise everybody to read it. The, the story of Suleiman and the bird. Chapter 18? Chapter 18 is the best funny cartoon story. I wish I have money to make cartoon. I will make like a, a, a one million cartoon out of it, movies, you know, they, they are funny. Uh, Suleiman, who the ring uh, lost his ring, and then he became not a king because the ring is gone. You know the story of yeah, you know, uh, Suleiman. He went to the bathroom. Some and, brothers made the yeah, story. yeah. He went to the bathroom, and uh, uh, because it's not it's not halal to take the ring of Allah to the bathroom. Oh. So each time he want to go to the bathroom, uh, he take the ring, the ring from his hand and he give it to his wife. When he was in the bathroom, Shaitan he came to his wife in the image of Suleiman. And look like a cloning is very easy, you know, wow. because Allah cloned Jesus, Shaitan cloned Abraham. Look like a cloning is a, is, a, is, a, is a good business there. <laughs> so he cloned Suleiman and he told his wife, I am Suleiman, give me my ring. So the wife, her name is Jarada, she gave the ring 
to Shaitan that she thought this is Suleyman. Suleyman, he went out of the bathroom. <laughs> he found himself without kingdom, homeless. They throw him out of the, <laughs> the palace. As simple as that. I mean, don't people notice now we have two people look like Suleyman? <laughs> what happened? Okay, he went out of the bathroom. The, the ring went to the, the Shaitan. Okay, his wife, she did not notice that now we have to say, well, what happened? The, the story is very funny. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, you, you know how the wives, they found out that this is not Suleyman, right? You don't know? No. no. Uh, because, yeah, when, when he went with them in bed, because now he have all the wives of Suleyman, you know? Oh so he went in the bed, this guy, he never stopped. <laughs> 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 he never have a break. You know, again, 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 next, again, again, again. So... The wives of Suleiman, they reported that to the elders that our husband is not normal these days. It well, can't be him. Well, so true. good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And look, imagine how stupid this religion. They are teaching that God allowed Shaitan to sleep with the wives of a prophet. Yet, if you speak about Aisha Muslims, they got so angry. You know? You just say that Aisha, she cheated. Now we have Shaitan himself having sex with the wives of a prophet of Allah. And Allah is the one who did that because all of this is a plan, remember? Like, like the Muslims, when they don't say before they make uh, sex, uh, Bismillah rahman rahim Yeah, you have to say that. Uh, shayt, say, say because Shaitan, he will, he will, he will, he will see that in my, in my book, which is already in Amazon, Six and Allah. Sex and Allah. Yeah. And by the way, we are translating this book now to German. Okay. You know? Yeah, so uh, I hope soon people will have it in the German language. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the more you read, the more you notice how crazy, how madness this cult. Mm -hmm. And I advise anyone, and I challenge any Muslim, mm -hmm. and we can go a show again, mm -hmm. where we allow people to call, to call us and to show us one valid chapter. And let us say it this way: He call us, he choose the chapter, and he make a challenge to find errors in it. In your books? No, no, in the Quran. In the Quran. And my books is full of errors because it's an Islamic book. <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, it's not my book is an error. Everything there is an error. I mean, I'm speaking there about errors. <laughs> yeah. the, error, the errors are not mine. The errors of Allah, you know. Uh, you see, the, this, uh, the, the, the second book you have, which is a translation for Quran and, and science, you know, uh, because, because the Muslims, they claim that the Quran is full of, uh, of uh, scientific uh, discovery. But this is a lot actually full, a lot more information from the first book. Because in order to explain uh, or to refute what the Muslims claim, I'm showing what is behind the story. So it is really full of information and it's, it's, a, it's kind of a comedy. You know, it's a comedy book because you will see that what it is supposed to be science, it's a joke. It is totally the opposite. So this book is full a lot more than the first book, but for some reason, uh, people they uh, uh, you know uh, they concentrate in the first volume, uh, maybe because of the name. I don't know. It's easier yeah. to focus. maybe, but the second book is is uh, you know it took me a lot more work than the first one. Yeah. Sometimes when uh, things become more complicated, so. Yeah, Some but it's not really, I, I, you know, always my books is very simple. I try my best, if, you know, I'm sure you, you you'd read, you know, I try to make it very simple for everybody to understand. Yeah, the first book is good to read. Yeah, good to read. It's yeah. Good yeah. Good I, I make it like, you know, if I'm having a conversation with you right now, yeah. you know, like I, I talk to you as if I am with you. Yeah, you know? right. Also good translation. Great. The, yeah, the, the, the gentleman the who did the translation, he good. I, I, actually, I wish to thank him, but he is not with us, you know. He's a wonderful guy. He did the translation. You can greet him. Yeah, for sure, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I really appreciate this person, and he is a wonderful brother who did uh, uh, all this work voluntarily. You know, mm -hmm. I did not pay him. I did not take a penny from me. Mm -hmm. I did not even buy him a gift. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, you know, he's a wonderful person. Danke auch an denjenigen, der die Bücher von Bruder Christian Prince übersetzt. Segen. Danke dir für deine Arbeit. Der Herr segne dich. Der Herr behüte dich auch. And now he's working in the in the in, in sex on uh, Allah book. Ah, he's arbeitet er an dem nächsten Buch von Bruder Christian Prince. Sehr gesegnete Arbeit. Ich werde immer dafür Werbung machen. Die Bruder, die Bücher von Christian Prince müssen nach vorne gebracht werden. Vor allen Dingen auch für die Muslime. Yeah. Die Muslime sollen sich die Bücher holen von Christian Prince, um zu sehen, was in ihrer Religion krit ähm, kritikwürdig ist, um eventuell darauf zu antworten oder einfach nur sich 
mehr Wissen über ihre eigene Religion anzueignen, zu sehen, um wie Apologeten aus dem christlichen Bereich den Islam kritisieren, um sich zu stärken. Das ist eigentlich auch für Muslime ganz äh, so angebracht, die Bücher zu überlassen. Ja, aber eventuell die würde es, ja, ja, Kritik, die ja, Islam eventuell würde es sie dazu verleiten, den Islam in Frage zu stellen, um den noch zu, zu verlassen. Ja, wieso, wenn du den Glaube stark genug bist? Und daran kannst ja, aber wenn du das nicht glaubst, nicht ist das Buch, ja. Glaube, Aus diesem so. Grund machen ja sehr viele Muslime diese schlechten Kritiken, ja, war immer so. Ja, ja. Die versuchen also die Leute davon fernzuhalten und sagen, das ist gar nicht schlecht, das ist äh, absolut Unwahrheiten, mhm. ihr braucht das gar nicht lesen. Mhm. Wenn ich nichts zu verheimlichen habe, dann sage ich doch, lies, dann will, ne, wenn ja, ich jetzt ja. überzeugt vom Islam wäre, dann würde ich sagen, Geschwister, lest euch durch, ihr werdet selber wissen. Aber nein, die wollen die Leute davon fern. Ja, das ist, ja. das ist they, they make bad, uh, bad, bad review, fake review. Bad review, you know. fake yeah. review See, it, it doesn't, I encourage all Muslims to go right now to give me a bad review. Ja, der Because, sagt, wenn ihr Muslim wollt, dann sagt er, geht jetzt auf Amazon und gebt ihm alle schlichte uh, Bewertungen. Please, I beg you to do so. Ja, also der fordert euch sogar noch. Because, also, because, this, because this is an honorable Certification for me because it's an ehrenvoller uh, certificate. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, if you say this book is amazing, it's mean I'm a liar. You know. <laughs> yes, there's, when you say this is great, I'm just this is yeah. a lügner sein. You know, there's no way a Muslim he would say this book is amazing unless he. It's, is, it's a commercial for your book. It's the same. Yeah, it, it doesn't Maybe matter. It, you know, it, it doesn't for, matter. For, you remember the guy who made a video, the the German ah, guy. Ah, yes, yes, with his two hairs. Yeah, two hair in his beard. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a growing back, back and may, You know. Uh, uh, he, he, this, this guy is, and he think I am, and he think I am, he, he, he think, he think I am, I am a German too, right? He think I'm a German? Maybe. Yeah, he, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> he, he, he think I am from Lebanon, yeah. You know, the Saudi, they think, do you know how many citizenship they gave me already? Anyway, uh, uh, but the, the most funny thing about Muslims, why like this guy, don't call me life. And I make a challenge he right don't now. Have the courage. He can call me live, and I challenge him to read anywhere from my book. He chooses, and to challenge me to prove it. If I could not prove it live, people should laugh at me, should make a bad review of me, and should expose me. Yes, and we have it live on air. And, and, and if he refuses to do so, it means he knew that everything written there is absolutely true. And this invitation not only for this guy, any Muslim, anywhere, any language, even if you are Chinese, as long as you can speak to us and we understand you, feel free to call us. Same time, you see, the, the most of people who buy my books are Muslims. Mm. You know, and they leave Islam. Like especially, Islam. especially the last one, Sex and Allah. You know, once uh, uh, you know when I chose the name, people they told me it's very offending. Oh, yeah. You know. I said, well, I mean, uh, the, this is what the book is about. I don't care about offending. Uh -huh. I care about saying the truth. This is about sex and Allah. And actually, I think because I put the word sex there, the Muslims are buying it. You know? <laughs> no. I don't think they are interested really in reading my book as much as they are interested in sex. sex. You know? So, like, if you see the, the, the buyers of the book, you know, the, uh, I was surprised about how many people are ordering the book. You know what? What, the heck, of, what happened? You know of the word yeah. sex. The book is fantastic, full information, mm -hmm. but it's about sex. That's Nothing cool. there is about God, really. Nothing there is. It's just about sexuality in Islam. And you will read the stories. It is crazy. It is you funny. Know. It's comedy. It's stupid. You know, you name it, whatever. But you will learn a lot of things you never heard from anyone ever before. I guarantee you that. Uh, but when we have this book in German, I guarantee you. Muslims in Germany, not, not only they will hate me, they will hate Allah himself. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this book is going to be a bad, bad, bad thing for people. This is yeah. the thing of sex, sexuality in Islam. There are also many different wilde Quellen. And they will yeah, sozusagen, how do you say that? They do it, put it on the taboo, these things, because. Uh, is something that's for the for the for their own um, peoples, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for the. Um, yeah, the, yeah. But you know the, the funny thing about Muslims, they say to you like when they hear me, where do you get this from? Yeah, they they can't believe it. Yeah, but the question is, how come I know about it? They don't know. The the, the different is there is people who want who want to find out, and there is people who don't want to find yes. out. And now I make I make for you an easy reference. Everything in my books is reference, 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 page number, the text in Arabic, everything there. 
So there's no one can say it's a lie. You know, I have all the documentation, I have everything there. The question is, is it truly really Muslims do not know those stories? Maybe some of them, but there is a lot of them they knew. But because Islam, the purpose of sex is to make it appealing for people. You know, sex sells. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you, uh, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a woman, she want to work in a cashier machine, how many dollars she will make? Eight dollars an hour? Mm -hmm. She go work strategy, she will make 300, 500 dollars. You know, sex one. business make money. Bring people, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, say we want to go uh, to, uh, to pray, how many people will come? Say we want to go to uh, see naked women, everybody will go. Mm -hmm. So, Muhammad, he, he made it uh, sexual religion for a purpose. This is why when he uh, he he told them go let us attack the the Roman to get the blondie and this is what Islam is about. I, I have a question about this. Um, some some also say about it is that uh, this reference is not about blonde hair but about yellow color or something like this. The yellow color skin. Ma, ma, no, you, you know, you see, because he the said word yellow. Banatul Asfar, the daughters of the Asfar, the daughter it's of the yellow. yellow. So we have the word daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so the daughter of the yellow, who are they? <laughs> the Asfar language, the Asfar in the Arabic language, the old language, it was the word used for the blonde. Asfar means yellow, Asfar. yellow, yellow hair, you know, yeah. yellow hair, yeah. golden hair. Yeah. So the daughter of the Asfar, it says it clearly, Banat, Banat yeah. is daughters. Yeah. Yeah. So he is not like maybe he means something else, it says it clearly, and then read the interpretation, don't listen to Christian Prince. Yes. Go open a Jalalain, go open al Qurtubi, go open a Tabari, go open a Mikathia, read it. It says it clearly. And actually, just yesterday, I made a, you know, I made a, a video about, yeah, go, go over and watch it and see what it says there. It says it clearly that this is about women who they are blonde and the Prophet, he was saying, then don't you want to go and get some concubine, uh, concubine and uh, some uh, servant for, for, for you for enjoy? So uh, uh, the Muslim, they don't, you know, how they can refute, if to refute me, you have to refute your scholars. Yes. Because I'm not the one, I, I, nothing if in my books is my interpretation. Mm. The same as I, when I do my videos, everybody see, I show a Jalalain, I show Ibn Abbas, I show, I don't explain the Quran because it's not right for me to explain the Quran. You see, I am a Christian. I will not accept a Muslim to explain the Bible for me. I will not do the same. I will do the same to, to Muslims. I will not explain the Quran to Muslims because I have no right. So let us go and see the scholars. But now Muslims, they don't want the scholars because the scholars will expose that they are in denial and they are trying to hide the truth. Now, when we say as suyuti says there's a lot of corruption in the Quran, what they will say about as suyuti He's a liar. He's a, one of the biggest imams in their history. When we say uh, 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 Imam Ahmad say so, when we say Al-Bukhari say so, what they will say? So now you will see that there is this. This is why there is many Muslim right now. They say we don't want hadith. We reject mm -hmm. hadith. We are Quran only. Yeah. But and then and then they say okay, uh, Quran only. But we ask them about the Quran. You cannot go by the Quran. Mm -hmm. The Quran they says yeah. The Quran says that Allah He abrogated verses. Yeah. Uh, but abrogation happened not only by Quran, happened by hadith. As an example, Muhammad in chapter four, verse twenty-four, he taught muta. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Muslim they say it's abrogated. Show me the verse. Where is the abrogation? Where is the order? You know, we cannot find it. The they, they say to you, we have to go to the hadith. Okay, show me the hadith. Even the hadith, there's a lot of problems about it because there's many hadith says that muta practiced long after Muhammad, in the time of uh, Omar, in the time of Ali, in the time of etc. Actually, Ali, Ali, he's, uh, Ali, he said, and you will find that in my in my uh, book Six and Six Allah. Allah. Ali, he said. If, if the muta was still in practice, nobody would do fornication. Because it's fornication. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's a fornication, but legal one. And this is the statement of Ali. Mm. So if people still, so which means Ali, he favored the, the, the fornication of Muhammad. Mm. And uh, 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 and here we, we have other question about the muta. I mean, why it's abrogated and why it's, uh, it's allowed anyway. I mean, was that did Musa's allowed muta? Yeah. Okay. We'll never Jesus, find something like are this are we Bible. going backward or forward? You know, people go backward. That means they are uh, crazy. So, in certain time, people they used to have sex with their sister, but this is in the time of Adam and Eve. Okay. Now we have more people. We have 
enough women and men to, to, uh, to have family, but not necessarily from your sister. So in the beginning, it was okay for you to have your sister to be your wife, for there is no other choice. But then we go and we have a prophet who forbidden fornication. You know, the book of Moses is so clear. The one who do fornication, he will be killed. You know, uh, the rapist will be killed. It's, it, there's no joke in there. Yes. So how we go back and say, okay, we can do muta, and how we can call it marriage. This is not marriage. You know? But this is because he is a, 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 a player. Muhammad is a player. He, he don't take God seriously. His men came He's to him. Own God. Yeah, he, his men came to him. They said, "We are horny. We want women. What we will do?" He said, "Do muta. Good. Yeah, yeah. It, it was his oh, idea. Right. It was his idea. It's not even Allah. He told him like right away because they came to him, and they said to him, you know, we are away from our family. So what we will do, Prophet? He said, "Do do see those women go and ask them for muta. Mm -hmm. This is what the hadith says. And when I tell some Sunnis, they say, "No, there's all practicing Shia practices. No, no, no. This is Sunni. This is." Immoral teaching. I said your prophet said that those hadith, those hadith are exist in the Sunni, not only in the Shia. Mm. And this is in the Quran. Is the Quran book of Shia? No. Chapter uh, uh, four twenty four. Mm. So both and all the Sunni agree that muta was practiced, but they claim that after that it was forbidden. But why it was forbidden? Allah, Allah, He found that He's wrong. He found yeah. that He's stupid. He found that this is not right. What the point? Uh, they, uh, you know, if men they don't have, you know, uh, women for uh, for some time, so what? You cannot uh, fast from sex. What will happen? Yes. It's, it's not like water. If you don't have it, you will die. You know, even the Quran. If you, if you go in the beginning, of the Quran says that uh, uh, pork is forbidden, right? But it says it clearly. If you are in mahmasa, which means if you are in hunger, you know, you can eat even pork. Hmm. Even pork. Yeah, everything is forbidden in Islam. If you are in hunger, you can eat it. Yes, I know. Is it. This in the it, yeah, no, in the Quran, it, uh, uh, chapter three, verse um, chapter five, verse number three. Yeah, I think chapter five, verse number three. And the explanations of that, uh, or is it, uh, no, no, it says, it says that or? clear. It says that clear. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it says that clear. So if Five three, I think it's the last verse of the Quran, or was it three five? I don't know. Five three or three five? Uh, no, it's, when it's you said chapter, today, I can chapter, today, no, I chapter five verse number three, as I said, chapter five verse number three. It says it's forbidden for you to eat this, 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 and at the end it says, uh, but if you are in hunger, eat all. Even your own wife. <laughs> Even your own wife. <laughs> yeah, because there's a fatwa, you know, you can have even sex with your wife after she dies. No. And in the Azhar University, they have books they are teaching that you can eat an ex Muslim, <laughs> but you should not cook him. So, only realize uh, actually, no, hold on. Uh, you can eat a Christian by if you cook him, but uh, an ex Muslim, you should not cook him. <laughs> you can you can search the video. I'm, I'm serious. You can search the video. This is a, the, the, even in a program in memory, in memory TV. It's an Egyptian Egyptian TV and memory TV translated. You know, uh, it, it, uh, the the guy in the program. He said, "Read this book. This is from Azhar University. This is what they teach that you can cook me." I, I remember. Yes, yes I, I know. Yeah. That. Yeah. Read, read for them. Read, read for them. Okay. Yeah, the so five verse three. This is a very long verse. <lacht> Verboten ist euch das äh, Verendete sowie Blut und Schweinefleisch und das, worüber ein anderer als Allahs Name angerufen wurde. Das Erdrosselte, das zu Tode Geschlagene, das zu Tode Gestürzte oder Gestoßene und das, was äh, Raubtiere angefressen haben. Außerdem war das ferner das, was auf einem heidnischen Opferstein geschlachtet worden ist. Und ferner ist euch verboten, dass ihr durch Lospfeile das Schicksal zu erkund erkunden sucht. Das ist eine Freveltat. Heute haben die Ungläubigen vor eurem Glauben resigniert. Also fürchtet nicht sie, sondern fürchtet mich. Guck mal hier, sagt Allah mich. Sonst steht da immer, fürchtet Allah. Und, und seinen Gesandten, oder was? Und wie heißt das immer, ne? Heute habe ich euch eure Religion vervollkommnet und meine Gnade an euch vollendet und euch den Islam zur Religion erwählt. Wer aber durch Hungers nur kurz, was für ein Blödsinn auf einmal, ne? Wer aber durch Hungers nur gezwungen wird, ohne sündhafte Neigung, so ist Allah verzeihend barmherzig. Also in diesem Vers 
fängt das an, dann kommt wieder was anderes und dann kommt wieder was ganz anderes. Also, uh, when you are hungry, you can eat pork. Eat all. Not only this. Here, there's a, there's a mistake. I don't know if you noticed. Did you notice what, what happened? There's a huge mistake. It's the verse speaking about something and then uh, uh, I uh, completed your religion. Completed your religion. How you completed my religion? With f five chapters? In the beginning of the Quran. This is what I told you. Like it's a, it's a, the Quran is like a guy going in the grocery store, mm. but in different days. Every day he buys some stuff and then he throws it at home. This and then sentence has to be the last. This is should be. The... This should be the last verse in the Quran. Mm. To be correct. So Today I completed. Yeah, so in the Surah 5, verse 3, steht Folgendes. Ähm, heute habe ich euch eure Religion vervollkommnet und meine Gnade an euch vollendet und euch den Islam zur Religion erwählt. Das war's. Und eigentlich müsste dieser Satz natürlich als letzter äh, Kapitel hier stehen, aber der steht irgendwo in Sura 5, Vers 3. Ja, wenn, wenn Allah sagt, heute habe ich eure Religion vervollständigt, vervollkommnet, und das ist erst in Sura 5, am Anfang. <lacht> Dann brauchen wir keine Also gibt doch was nicht mit diesen ganzen Hin und Her mit den Suchen. Das muss ja am Ende stehen, weil am Ende des Buches kann das dann passt das, also logisch. Heute habe ich eure Religion vollkommen, vollkommen gemacht, vollendet. Finito, finished. Aber dann nicht in Suche 5, am Anfang. Genau. Okay, okay, was ist mit dem Rest? 96. Unwichtig oder was mit den ganzen anderen Suchen? Weil bis 5 ist es komplett. Ja, der Rest ist unwichtig. Ja. And not only this, in the same verse he continues saying, but if you, well, you, you, you just yeah, say yeah, it's yeah, I know, it's, it's not say, a sentence. And this is, and the funny, the Muslim, they say the Bible does not make sense. The Bible says that Jesus, when he was on the cross, he said it's completed. Mm. It was the last word. That makes sense. Mm. Then it's completed what? His mission. Mm -hmm. right? Here Muhammad is speaking about today I perfected. Everything is perfect. Mm. So what the point of the rest of the verse? Yes, yeah, that's my what brother told the same. Uh, here the Muslim, they will say to you, oh, the Quran was collected in different way. And so, so how we can trust that this is the correct way? What do you mean? So you are saying to me, that possibly that this is the last verse, but somebody might mistake put it there. Where is That's the where sense. is the perfection of the book of God? Mm. You know that that should not be there. Should it, should be at the end of a writer. Yes. Like yeah, I say, no if you read my book, I says uh, thank you for reading my book. I uh, don't forget to read my coming book. Thank and, you. And you bring it in the chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in the first, in the first slide. Right. Thank you for reading my book. And now I uh, complete okay. my book. And thank you for reading. My book is perfect. And, and, then then it, and now we will talk else. about etc. I mean, this is this is madness. It's like you know saying to you, Muslime, bitte. Weil alle nur mit diesem Vers uh, kannst du auch wiederum den Islam wirklich dann um, den Boden und deine Füßen wegziehen. So sieht's aus, ja. So weil, fünf Vers drei. Weil wenn die, wenn das so ist, dass das, das so ein Fehler direkt am Anfang steht und der Rest dann unwichtig wird, weil der Allah schon in Sura 5 den Islam komplett ver vervollständigt hat. Ja. Da kann keiner mir sagen, ja, das ist irgendwie, hat man zufällig irgendwie angeordnet, das ist nicht so wichtig, die Anordnung. Nee, Gottes, du kannst nicht mit Gottes Wort so umgehen. Ja. Du kannst nicht als Mensch so äh, die, die letzte Verse des Korans, was eigentlich logisch wäre, schon in Suche 5 reintun. Ja. Da ist total das Durcheinander. Anfang, Ende, Mitte. Bitte, 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 guck mal hier. Was dann noch heftiger ist, guck mal hier, was dann steht. Dass dieser Satz, ne, heute habe ich euch äh, Gnade vollendet und meine Gnade an euch vollendet und euch den Islam zur Religion erwähnt. Und dann kommt man Punkt, dann kommt wieder was ganz anderes. Der aber durch Hungersnot gesehen. Was ist das für ein Wirrwoll? Ja, Ohne Spaß. Ist so ja, ja, klar. Bisschen Und dann sagen gut. die mir, das, das ist ein perfektes ja. Buch. Ja. Einer, der das Buch ohne Tafsir liest, der, ohne Tafsir der, der weiß gar überhaupt gar nicht, wo das der ist. Und, und sie sagten und er sagte, du kannst quasi ohne Tafsir ist das Buch. You know, if you, if, you go, if you go to chapter 69, 69. it says, uh, 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 in it is, it is the talk of a noble prophet. It is the words of a noble prophet. Verse? The Quran, uh, the, uh, the 40, 6948, yeah. It is, it is the words of a noble prophet. So the Quran even saying that this is a fabrication of Muhammad. Because how the Quran is the word of Allah, and the Quran saying this is the word of a noble prophet. Yeah, here, Quran. Dass dies oh wahrlich das Wort Allahs durch den Mund, mal die machen mit Klammer, das steht gar nicht dann im Originaltext. Ja, yeah. okay. Dass dies wahrlich das Wort eines ehrwürdigen Gesandten ist. The best of these. Huh? And, the, and the same, and the same, it can be found in chapter 81, verse number 19. I'm just uh, looking for the verses where the same. 
you know? 81? Uh, yeah, 81 verse number 19. Karim. It is the words of a noble prophet. Verse? Uh, 19. 19. dass dies in Wahrheit ein Wort eines edlen Boten ist. Ja. Sehr edel. Hammer. What it says, correct? It says that. So even the Quran, even Muhammad, he admit that Allah said that his Quran is his own words. The, the, the words of a prophet. Yeah, yeah, it says that. It says it is the words of a, of a noble prophet. The Quran, the Quran is the words of a noble prophet. Not of Allah. It, this is what it says. It's noble, the Quran is saying that. The Quran, the Quran is the word of Inna hula qawli rasulin kareem It is the words of Nobel Prophet As simple as that Muhammad here, he wanted to praise himself mm -hmm. But by making such a statement He thought he's getting reference for himself So he just admitted that this is his own words Not the word of Allah Because the second you say That this is the words of a Nobel Prophet You just said it is his words so where is, the word, where, where is the word? Where is the word? Where is the words of Allah? You know what I mean? Yeah. He also, wanted. This is also a good, uh, good, a good affair, a good argument, with the Muslim to talk about. The only word of truth is the Quran. Surah 81, verse 19. Yeah, you can also give us the references. Yeah, also the references are Surah 81, verse 19. That says the Quran that the word, that the Quran, the words of a prophet are, and not from Allah. The other reference to that was? 6940. The other reference to that was? 69, 40. 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 The other you know, when Jesus, he speak, he say, everything I say is not of my own. What does that mean? He has mean, authority. Over he is everything. the word of God. He himself, the word of God. I'm not the man. The man, me, is not the one who is speaking. It is the word of man, the word of God on me. You know? Yeah, also, Jesus etwas sagt, hat der Autorität. Es das Wort Gottes, was Gott selber ist. Es sind nicht seine Worte, es ist Wort the, God. And the funny, the Muslim, they claim that we worship a man. But yet Muhammad, he claimed that he is God because he is saying, he is the one who made the Quran. This is the words of a prophet, noble prophet. Yeah. You know, but Jesus, when he speak, he says, everything I have is given to me from my father. Mm. All right. And I am and the father is one. Muhammad, he claimed that he is a prophet. But yet he claimed that all the Quran is the words of his own. In the same time, he claimed that he received inspiration. How that can work? If the Muslim, they will say that this is explained that uh, uh, Muhammad is a person who say the truth. It doesn't say that. It says, "Innahu la qawlu rasulin kareem." It is the words of a noble prophet. If you click at any translation, let us go to verse. Uh, uh, let us see. I don't know what, uh, what, what the translation you are reading, but if we go to Yusuf Ali. Right, this is Urdu. Ein Fünftel der Beute wird immer Allah ja. und seinem Gesandten. Ja. Das heißt, alles, was diese Dschihadisten erbeutet haben, kommen her. Ja, ich weiß, wie viel davon. ein Fünftel ist. Das ist ja wahr. Mit, der hat mit tausend, Tausenden von Leuten und dann ein Fünftel fehlt. Ja, wenn die Karawanen überfallen haben, dann hat er erstmal fünf, fünf, ein Fünftel davon ab, abgezogen. Richtig, Räuber. Und dann, um die Leute weiter zu motivieren, weil die Angst hatten, getötet zu werden irgendwann, hat er gesagt, wenn ihr, you have fit with this? Well, well, is, seid ihr sofort im Verlauf. In German, Vers Nummer 19. Does it fit with the translation you have in the book? Ja, irgendwann hat er Geld. Oh, yes, Kinder, am yes, Ende yes, der Mohammed reicht langsam. Ich, ich will nicht mehr. Ich sage, wo ist das? Ich bin ja aber da von Stärke. Alles. 100% sicher. Ich bin ja aber da von Stärke. 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 Ich bin ja aber da von Stär
Ja, also das viele sind kleine Sachen, aber es ist sehr, sehr schwer zu, äh, zu lesen, weil meine Augen auch sehr trocken sind. Das Handy ist auch ein bisschen zu klein, deswegen kann man das sehr, sehr schlecht denken. Dann muss man das auch durch nach Hause. Ja, also, okay, äh, willst du noch ein bisschen weitermachen? Zwei Stunden haben wir jetzt vor. Ja, das reicht jetzt schon. Aber langsam ist es Ende. Ja, yeah, we have enough for today. We have enough for today. <lacht> we can schedule again, if you guys you wish. Yes. And uh, we can, we can, uh, you know. Ja, Ramazan, der kann doch echt, Entschuldigung, Ramazan kann doch Englisch. Soll sich dann besorgen, der, der macht das, der kommt niemals. Der, der macht in drei Wochen weiß, wenn Video. er mich antreten würde oder auch die ganzen anderen wie die Vogel und diese ganzen Leute, ihr Gesicht die würden ihr Gesicht verlieren. Weißt du, ich mein. Der Vogel tritt doch gegen jeden äh, Christen an auf der Straße. Ja, gegen einen 16-jährigen ja. Jungen kann er doch antreten so hart. Ja. Wo, wo Aber da kann er doch gegen Christian Prince antreten. Wo ist das Problem? Christian Prince hat Pier Vogel mehrmals aufgefordert zu einer Debatte. Wenn du doch so stark bist in deinem Glauben, wo ist das Problem, deinen Glauben auf den Prüfstand zu stellen mit dem Bruder Christian Prinz? Nochmal hier der Aufruf, der Bruder Christian Prinz ist noch ein paar Tage hier und dann kannst du mit ihm eine Debatte führen. Wir organisieren das. And I have, a, I have an offer for any Muslim Sheikh who speaks German, who is willing to debate me. I'm going to give him all my books for free, as a gift. And in the same time... Also ja. er möchte, dass jeder deutsche, also jeder deutsche Chef, Gelehrter hier in Deutschland, äh, also er möchte eine Aufforderung an jeden Gelehrten hier in Deutschland, ähm, eine Debatte zu führen. Und er gibt ihm das, seine Bücher umsonst, so dass sie das studieren können und dann will er mit ihnen darüber reden. And not only that, after he get my books, I have a challenge for him to go and find mistakes in my books. And then he make videos about it and if the mistake is a truthful i will make a live video apologizing for that mistake or lying if it's a lie mm -hmm. it's a challenge so who accept the challenge i'm a christian prince and i am a challenge in them <laughs> yeah also er fordert euch heraus das buch fehler darin zu finden hier in einem seiner bücher um zu zeigen und wenn ihr da etwas herausgefunden habt könnt ihr mit ihm live darüber reden wenn der einen fehler gemacht hat wird er sich öffentlich entschuldigen und das rausnehmen. Also ich weiß nicht, wie viel man noch für euch machen muss, damit ihr begreift, dass Bruder Christian Prince euch aufruft, nicht euren verlogenen Imamen und Chefs zu glauben. Weil diese dürfen euch anlügen. Ihr müsst aufwachen, so schnell wie möglich. Es geht um eure kostbaren Seelen. Ja? Der Herr Jesus bringt die Wunderschönheit aus uns heraus und aus jedem gläubigen Menschen. Denn er ist nämlich wunderschön und macht die Menschen um ihn herum auch wunderschön. Amen. Amen. Ja. ja, auch wenn wir lachen, wir sind natürlich menschlich, fleischlich gesinnt ab und zu natürlich, klar. Ähm, es waren auch sehr lustige Gespräche gerade und der Bruder ist halt auch in seiner Art sehr lustig, da können wir nicht anders als auch mal mit lachen. Ja, das ist nur menschlich. Deswegen bitte verzeiht, falls wir euch damit beleidigt haben oder euch äh, etwas, äh, auch, wenn ihr euch angegriffen gefühlt habt. Ja, das war nicht unsere Intention. Wir wollten ein bisschen Spaß haben mit dem Bruder und wir danken ihm sehr, dass er uns äh, unterrichtet hat, auch in, äh, in der islamischen Rechtswissenschaften. Und wenn ihr der Meinung seid, dass er gelogen hat, so könnt ihr mich kontaktieren oder äh, Bruder Christian Prince kontaktieren und dann könnt ihr live eine Debatte führen. Und dann will ich mal sehen, wer nochmal seinen Mund aufmacht und sagt, dass er lügen würde. Keiner von euch traut sich, ich weiß das jetzt schon, weil ihr wisst, dass er sich perfekt auskennt. Das ist die traurige Wahrheit, in der ihr euch befindet. Weil ihr wisst, dass euer Glaube eine große Lüge ist, aber ihr zu feige seid, um anzutreten. And by the way, anyone who debate us, according to the Quran, Allah will give him a bracelet made from gold. And a bracelet made from silver. And he will give him a chair. And this is priceless. Because if you go to Amazon to buy furniture these days, it's very expensive. <laughs> Get for free also. Yeah. So what a problem. So I mean, call us. You will get the blessing of Allah. You will get a free bracelet from Allah. You will get a, a throne. You will get extra sexual entertainment. I mean, you are the winner, even if you lose when you call us. So call us <laughs> and challenge us. Don't worry. Be happy. Also nochmal die Aufforderung, wirklich mutig zu sein und diesen äh, diese Debatten, äh, diese Herausforderung zur Debatte mit dem Bruder Christian Prince anzunehmen. Ihr könnt eigentlich nur gewinnen, weil eben Allah euch dann bei diesem Kampf, diesem geistigen Kampf, belohnen wird auch ja. mit einem ja. goldenen Stuhl und so weiter. Ne? Okay. Ich verstehe das nicht. Wenn ihr doch die Wahrheit bei euch habt und ihr denkt, dass er ein Lügner ist, warum kommt denn niemand und tritt gegen den an? Das ist unfassbar. Ja. Ja. 
Das wenn ihr denn kein Englisch spielt, dann versuche ich jemanden klar zu machen, der, der das für euch übersetzt. Das ist auch kein Thema. Das ist die leichteste Aufgabe. Explain to them that to get my books, you can go to Amazon, that the, the Germany, and they just type Christian Prince, they will find the rest of my books. Ja, also easy. geht auf Amazon und dann schreibt Christian Prince, dann seht ihr auch alle seine anderen Bücher. Ich werde demnächst weiterhin vieles aus seinen Büchern zitieren und euch Muslime damit konfrontieren. Bis jetzt. Und das haben auch zwei Muslime, mit denen ich auch letztens ein sehr, sehr schönes Gespräch geführt habe. Meine Videos hinterlassen eine sehr, sehr große Detonation unter den Muslimen. Die fragen sich natürlich, ob der Islam wirklich die Wahrheit ist. Und die gehen auch den Quellen nach. Manche von ihnen sind auch ehrlich genug und sagen, das, was der Junge sagt, ist stimmt. Wir haben seine Aussagen überprüft. Unser Chef hatte keine äh, Antworten. Wir haben gemerkt, dass er uns anlügt und so. Ne? Tja, das kommt dann da raus, wenn man nicht ehrlich genug ist. Ja? Wenn der Islam die Wahrheit ist, dann zeigt das, dass der Islam die Wahrheit ist. Und dann sehen wir mal, wie weit du kommst, ohne deinen Glauben dann zu verlassen. Ich garantiere dir, du wirst den Glauben verlassen, den Islam. Last Und wirst bereuen, die Schade ausgesprochen zu haben. Ja. Last message from me for the Muslims. Okay. We as a Christians, we love them. Und we are not making fun of the Muslims as people. We are trying to help them to understand that there is no way Muhammad is a prophet. And don't listen to us, but Read what we show you. Go to your books. Check out everything we say, if it's true or not. If it's true, it's true. If it's not, ignore us. Don't listen to us. However, we as a Christians, we've been ordered to love everybody, and we love the Muslims for sure. And you yourself, both of you, you are coming from Muslim family. So if we hate Muslims really, I will not be with you today, you know? And when we met today, you know, you give me a hug, but we never, we never met before. But because the Messiah, he put love in our heart to everybody. If I see a Muslim really, I don't mind to give him a hug and to tell him about Jesus because we've been ordered to love him because mm -hmm. Jesus, he loved everybody. Mm -hmm. Christianity is not a racist religion, it's not for a group. Jesus is for everybody. Mm -hmm. He wants everybody to be saved. And if you don't accept Jesus, this is your problem. But don't blame it on Jesus. He loves you. Mm -hmm. If you don't love him, he give you choice. And you are free. Mm -hmm. Islam, don't give a choice. Islam. Either you, either you are or you would, would do with Allah, or you are not, and then he will do his uh, uh, fiction stories, like the Quran says in chapter 69, that he will insert shish kebab in the anus of the Abdu. <laughs> I mean, I never heard of a God who would do that before, That's but a obviously, chain in your ends, yes. yeah, you know, he it, it, and makes it about it. yeah, he will, he will make, he will uh, chain them like lotus, like insect, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he will make shish kebab. He will put a chain in the anus of the Muslim, and it's going to come from his mouth. Uh, maybe later uh, the second uh, uh, coming uh, uh, video we can talk about this torture method of Allah and uh, yeah, we, ha we have to make it um, like um, Google bro bro broadcast or Google Hangout and we go with our two channels live and then I yeah. can uh, qu uh, uh, question you and you can answer about your screen sure, sure. everybody can see everything yeah the, we can the reference that. we can do that that's good idea. it is a good idea yeah that's a good idea yes yeah. uh, ich übersetze noch mal das letzte was der bruder christian prince gesagt hat also das ist das letzte was die christen wollen dass wir die muslime beleidigen oder ihm wehtun wollen das ist wirklich das beste weil der herr jesus hat uns ja beigebracht unsere feinde zu lieben unsere nächsten lieben wie, wie wir uns selbst deswegen sind wir besorgt um die muslime falls sie eben in die ewigkeit gehen ohne jesus christus und so weiter, dass sie verloren sind. Deswegen gehen wir raus und wollen die, die, die Muslime aus Liebe zu ihnen retten. Was der Bruder Christian Prinz macht, ist eben nicht euch weh zu tun, sondern um euch sozusagen die Augen zu öffnen, damit ihr, wenn ihr schon ihm nicht vertraut, dass ihr die Quellen prüft, die er nennt, in euren eigenen äh, Religionen. Ja? Also seine Intention ist auch eben, dass er euch äh, zum Herrn Jesus bringen möchte und auch retten möchte. Niemals will ein Missionar oder ein Evangelist einen Moslem beleidigen oder, oder ihn kränken oder, oder irgendwie ihn beleidigen in jeglicher Art. Also es ist immer Liebe dahinter, wir wollen die Muslime retten. Und das bitte nochmal zum Schluss, das war nochmal das Statement von dem Bruder Christian. Ja, der Herr Jesus Christus hat uns ja aufgefordert, die Menschen zu lieben und unseren Nächsten zu lieben, sogar unsere Brüder. Wir haben den Christian Prince, äh, kennen wir nur durch äh, Internet und alles, aber sobald wir uns gesehen haben, haben wir uns sofort umarmt und das war sehr herzlich. So, als würden wir uns schon jahrelang kennen. So, ne? Das ist die Liebe, die Herr, der Herr Jesus halt uns in den Her in, ins Herz gelegt hat, dass wir Liebe untereinander haben sollen. Daran erkennen, erkennt man ja auch die Christen. Ich würde nie auf die Gedanken kommen, an, auf, auf die Suche nach Muslimen zu gehen, nur weil sie nicht mit, äh, mit mir in Einklang oder in einer Meinung sind. 
ja, warum machen die Muslime, warum verfolgen die meine Geschwister in Christus? Ich weiß, warum die Muslime das machen, weil sie vergiftet sind vom islamischen Geist. Und das ist das große Problem. Und es hat eine sehr große Täuschung unter den Muslimen stattgefunden. Und diese Täuschung zu behandeln, ist auch wiederum schwer, aber nicht unmöglich. Und deswegen gehen wir der Sache an und wollen natürlich euch auffordern, auch mal eure Quellen durchzugehen und nicht blind zu glauben, was eure Imame und Chefs euch sagen, sondern prüft, prüft immer alles, prüft. So, das waren meine Worte. Ja. Also an meine äh, Geschwister im Herrn Jesus Christus, nochmal, äh, besorgt euch die Bücher vom Bruder Christian Böse, ist sehr, sehr wichtig, lest euch den, die Inhalte, prägt es euch ein und dann in den Debatten mit den Muslimen könnt ihr sie wirklich richtig überzeugen und ähm, da könnt ihr wirklich sehr viele Gewinne verzeichnen in den ganzen Debatten. Das ist also ein Muss, die Bücher von Christian Fritz müsst ihr euch besorgen, durchstudieren, falls ihr wirklich da in diese Sache ja. mit den Muslimen in den Debatten steht, da werdet ihr alles, jede Debatte gewinnen. Ja. 100 Prozent. Weil ihr dann vorbereitet seid. Ja. Weil ihr die ganzen Quellen kennt. Also ein Muss für jeden Christen, wirklich, also da sich da durchzuarbeiten. Okay, das war's dann von unserer Seite. Okay. Ne? Hat noch jemand von euch was zu sagen? Möchte noch jemand was sagen? Der Friede des Herrn Jesus Christus sei mit euch allen. Amen. Und der Herr Jesus sagte ja auch in, Matthäus, nee, in Johannes 3,16, denn so sehr hat Gott die Welt geliebt, dass er seinen eingeborenen Sohn gab, damit jeder, der an, der an ihn glaubt, nicht verloren geht, sondern das ewige Leben hat. Amen. Das, ist, Amen. das ist der wunderschönste Vers. Und, und die Muslime sollten mir nur einen Vers zeigen, wo, wo sagt, Allah liebt sie Ungläubigen, werdet ihr niemals finden. Nie. Gottes Segen. Gottes Segen. So. Wow. Warte. Ich konnte mal nicht. <lacht>